Hello, and welcome to the 120th episode of the Destiny Community Podcast. This week, are we talking about Anthem this week, or is that next week? Next week. That's next week. Okay, so next week uh will be the, the final anthem. episode of the destiny community podcast <laughs> the anthem community podcast <laughs> it's not the final episode right, next week. <laughs> week. proud to announce the anthem community podcast starting a week from tonight <laughs> not 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 i'm not going to be on that one uh, yeah you guys are free to do that anyway Followed by the division two Community podcast, uh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is gonna be nice because then we can go back to DCP. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you're right. How about Sekiro? I was hoping we could be the Resident Evil community podcast. That'd be nice, mm. and then dovetail oh, okay. that into Sekiro community podcast. Definitely gonna be that podcast. Yes. RCP, we could call it, and that sounds like Raccoon City Police. Police. <laughs> <laughs> this is cosmic, man. Wow. Yeah, man, I'm loving it. <laughs> so. Yeah, this week we have Pure Chill on. Hey, what's Hi. up, man? Hey, how are you doing today, Briar? I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks how are you doing? On the show. I'm doing great, man. I'm doing fantastic. Great to have you on, man. Yeah, um, uh, great to be on the show, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pure Chill, uh, we haven't had you on before, have we? No, this is the first time I've been on. Very first time. Um introduce yourself a little bit uh, we know your name is pure chill but what do you do <laughs> okay so what are you saying what i do mainly on twitch or uh, yeah we'll go with what that. i do for content creation yeah, for content yeah. creation i mainly stream on twitch at uh pure chill yeah i do upload on youtube very now and then i'm just main folk my main focus right now is twitch uh i play destiny every day right now currently um just you mainly doing your PC right or Right now, I'm on console and PC uh-huh. with a controller. Right now, I'm trying to transition more into mouse and keyboard. Yeah. But right now, I'm enjoying uh, enjoying PC a little bit more right now, but mainly console. And I do my main content is comp, just strictly comp. Oof. Did you get a PC just to play Destiny Two, or were you a PC gamer before, or mainly a console gamer? PC just for Destiny Two, hundred percent just for nice. Destiny Two. Nice. nice. Go How has that it. transition been going for you? You said that you're mostly playing on a controller still. Yeah, correct. Um, it's really enjoyable, actually. The PC community is really, really uh, new to me. And mm-hmm. uh, meeting uh, gamers from you know Xbox, PS4, all on the same platform is really cool, actually. Uh, I get to game with people that I wouldn't you know, have gamed with a year ago in Destiny 1. It was really nice. Um, also, you get to play two different metas as well. So that's what I really enjoy the most is PvP. And the fact that I can play two different metas and still enjoy the game is that's that's what I'm looking for. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? The two different metas between the console and the PC? Oh, 100%. 100%. Even with the controller. Oh, yeah. What so are the what biggest are, differences? Yeah, what are the differences? Biggest differences? All right, let's, let's talk about the main difference. The main difference is the strongest subclass. So on PC... Mm-hmm. It's run by One Eyed Mask and Macro Titans. That's I was about that's to say. Like really cool on on PC. Also on PC, you see a lot more Spectral Blades right now, prior to the nerf, and they are really strong. You cannot take out a Spectral. I, I think the best thing you can do when a Spectral is popped on PC is run away, or have a counter super for that, because you don't deal with that on console. On console, it's it's more of a variety. On on console, you see more hunters. You see more. Um, as in, like, when I mean hunters, I mean you see more three subclasses, not not just mainly spectral. You see blade barrage, you see middle tree arc, mm. you know, you see everything. Um, also, with console, you don't see as much titans and titan skating as well, because because yeah. of the frames and FOV, mm. FOV. Yeah. So, how about warlocks? Is yeah. uh, is one eyed mask still kind of a kind of a problem on console, or is it still is it still powerful? Uh, One-Eyed Mask is actually really strong on console still, but mm-hmm. the fact that you cannot Titan Skate yeah. really makes makes you not want to play the subclass, right? Because mm-hmm. you're okay. playing when you're playing on PC, even with the One-Eyed Mask, that macro or even scroll world is really really fast. Actually, you, you can so, close the gap so easily with the oh shotgun my God, or yeah, something. Yeah, the, the skill gap is way it's it's a completely different story actually mm-hmm. when you compare the two. Okay, so, so you base so you basically just do comp. That that's it. Basically, yeah, I do comp. I do a little bit of quick play at the uh, right now. I mean, obviously, I was doing a lot more trials prior to oh. um, them taking it away. 
So, I mean, I, my, I'm, I'm not really forced to, but I enjoy playing quick play. And I enjoy playing comp with my buddies because that's, nice. that's what we do mainly. Do you, so you're, you're generally doing comp with like a full fire team, right? You're not one of those crazy yeah, people no that goes in solo? No, yeah, no. no so, I mean, I, I have a buddy of mine who does solo comp a little bit just for his own entertainment. And uh, yeah, that's not what I'm Yeah, he, he, does it for he does it for his life. Is this penance? Yeah. Penance for something? <laughs> Uh, uh, so that you, right. you're doing comp on both platforms then like right yeah uh are you enjoying both doing comp on there you know what actually i was enjoying both a lot but right now the matchmaking is just really re like they reverted the matchmaking back to like season two mm -hmm. i'm thinking so it's really really slow right now and um a war mine season so, where it was like based on uh, yeah. number number rank yeah yeah so basically yeah. if i go to pc it's going to take me like 30 minutes to find a match or Oof. at least 25 minutes. It's That's really so bad. Long. Yeah. Which when you're trying it's to stream, you're like, you might as well pop up in a YouTube video, but on console, it's not so bad. Uh, the problem about console is since they changed the matchmaking, you're only matching the cer same certain teams. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it just, it gets re pretty repetitive, but I do notice on console that you'll have way closer games. Like the score will be way closer. And um, compared to PC, where either it's like a blowout or you lose by or you win by a large margin. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it definitely is a difference when you do play the game. But the matchmaking, you can tell the difference immediately prior mm -hmm. to like a week ago. And do you find mm -hmm. like if you're going up against, say, four Titans with one eye mask on PC, then it's like, well, okay. Like it's I, I, I actually dealt with that situation and. It's not as bad as you think it is, mm -hmm. but if it's countdown, it's going to be a little tough because it's elimination, right? Mm -hmm. So if you get taken out right away by the one-eyed mask, that player is as well. He took you out and as well has overshield, so it's really hard to kill that player. On top of you know you, you're you're down for the count, it's a three v four, so it makes it even more harder on PC with the one-eyed mask. On console, you'll see more of um, you'll see more of like a hunter mains. You'll see more of like Middle tree arc, you'll see more of um, just a hunter subclass in particular compared to PC. Interesting. Hmm. But they're bo both beatable, obviously. With the right. solid team, you can definitely win. But it's definitely more of a task on PC to take out the one-eyed mask mm -hmm. compared to console hunters for sure. Hmm. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. Same game, different I've, metas. I've, I've, I'm, I'm oh, not gonna yeah. lie. I haven't done a lot of comp this season. I did. I did a lot last season just because going for Luna is Luna? not forgotten. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was that was really good. Now everyone has Luna's are not forgotten, and I'm like, okay, this is, this is a little little more difficult now to get through that. Um, See, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, the thing about like the main difference between console and PC two is uh, the aim assist, right? Mm -hmm. So on on PC, you really don't you don't really don't need the not forgotten, right? It's the pinnacle reward. You don't really need to go for it because Ace is so strong, right? Mm -hmm. Ace can it, com compete. Yeah. But on console, you kind of need the not forgotten. That's that gun reigns supreme. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it, like, if you don't kind of have, uh, you know, I I'm thinking it's because of the aim assist. I'm really confident it's because of the aim assist. But you know, that's that's a good question. I don't know why the not forgotten is so much stronger on console compared to PC because. When I play PC with the controller, it's really good. But mouse and keyboard, not forgotten. I'm thinking, you know, it might be a little bit different story. It might be a better it, choice to choose the ace. It, 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 when you add in aim assist with 180 hand cannons in particular, mm, there you go. like the, the aim assist from a controller, not the aim assist from, you know, just basic aim assist that you can get from mouse and keyboard, uh, mm. it really takes that class into the kind of the next level. And with like fairly easy to control recoil high aim assist they you can just chain those headshots so well with that archetype of weapon does ace so makes a lot of sense i i hear a lot about the 180 rpm hand cannons but then when i go to use one on a pc i'm like this is yeah. not exciting does ace of spades yeah. kick really hard on console yes it has a weird yeah. recoil it's like a really uncomfortable recoil uh, it, it was it was like that in d1 it had yeah it, it had just like doesn't a, feel consistent hmm interesting field of view makes such a huge difference on that stuff it does yeah yeah ace is like a monster weapon on uh, pc actually it's really good it's it's the go-to gun to does it feel that way with, with controller that. too 
Yeah, yeah, it definitely does. Um, like I said, when I when I do plug in the controller, I still think that not forgotten is the way to go. But yeah, P- PC uh, Ace of Spades is it's really nice. It's definitely that feel that you want. I, I also totally forgot what is uh Ace? Is it a one forty archetype? It's one forty. Yeah, one forty. That that type of RPM, man. People would go crazy if that was the meta for both platforms, man. That one forty mm-hmm. is actually the sweet spot. I really like one forties. I think I think 140s have felt like the sweet spot for the entirety of the Destiny franchise for the most part. 100%, Everyone else wants 100%. to use those. Yeah, it's true. Uh, it feels like a hand cannon, right? You know, mm-hmm. like using using Luna and Not Forgotten is cool, but then you kind of miss that hand cannon feel because you don't have that hand cannon feel from those guns. Have you guys checked out the Midnight Coup? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. No. yeah I was about to say I'm like I, the Midnight Coup is 150. It's pretty nice, guys. No, I kind of refuse to use that just because I see every other person under the sun using I it. I stopped yeah. using it. Oh. It, it is a very popular Whoa. gun. I did. It's very popular for PvE, obviously. I retired it. Everybody. My first one hit 33,333 kills, and I vaulted that baby. <laughs> went over <laughs> went over to my other Midnight Kill. That, authentic, by the way. Not purchased. <laughs> or, you know, not reprinted. Per- none of that. None of that yeah. garbage. It's like a legit Midnight Kill. Uh, mm-hmm. it, yeah, but like after, after Forsaken, you know, I use it so much in year one that I just, I, I, I don't like using guns that I've already used so much. So in year one, and when there's options in year two, they had a lot of good weapons in Forsaken, actually, in my opinion, Forsaken had a bunch of weapons that I was actually really looking forward to grind. Yeah. Um, such as the dust rock, obviously not forgotten. I didn't really know too much about the Lunas too much. And then, you know, they're not forgotten. So once I found out this was the pinnacle reward and how good it was on console, I was like, wow, this is going to make other people want to grind comp. This is going to make other people actually want want to play the playlist, you know, Oh, compared to before. Yeah, actually, I was going to say, since, you you know, you obviously have a lot of experience with comp on both sides. Like, what is, uh, how does the populations feel? How do they, do they feel similar, different? Like, you know, if you jump in, I, I know you mentioned that, like, it takes 30 minutes right now for a queue. But even before that, like, was the overall tone of the population different? I don't know if you can pick up on that or not, but... Um, for PC or console? For for both, from, like, you know, the the two yeah. differences. So, How comp feels on both of them in terms of a population? Population on console prior to the update was really good, actually. You'd match solo sometimes, you'd match new teams. It was, it was really nice. Console was good. PC, PC was kind of, like, still slow. You'd match the same teams. If a team in particular didn't want to match you, you know, it'd be kind of like a slow night, you know what I'm saying? So PC in particular has always been slow on matchmaking, in my opinion, even prior to this patch. Um, I don't know why, but I just feel like there's just less teams playing on PC for comp, or they just don't want to match certain teams, or they just don't want to play comp in particular on PC compared to console. Because console, console, there's a thriving community for comp, like for sure. Mm. There's new players. There's definitely um, a, a big difference between the two matchmaking. Actually, even now, there's a big difference. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so, do you think like the uh, the rewards available uh, might have something to do with that? Because like we went from having, you know, Luna's not forgotten right. uh, to Mountaintop, and even though you can still like get those, it's like. The, the main pool seemed to be kind of pushed towards like uh, uh, the grenade launcher this season, which is like, yeah, eh, some people just aren't feeling it, you know? You know, I, I agree with that 100% because it's like, you know, if you're not really feeling the gun as is, and plus you can do some of the quests in quick play, right? So, like, what, you know, it doesn't really give me a reason to play comp after 2100. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah, you know, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a grenade launcher. It's not really going to get too many people, you know. Sp- interest sparked i do think they nailed it with the not forgotten but we need another reward weapon besides the not forgotten right because like you know they, you want you don't want to go to 2100 and say all right i'm done with this playlist yeah. and i'm gonna go to quick play and finish my quest I mean, that's, that, that's basically what i'm kind of in the boat for like i got to the yeah. point where i had to get the get the uh triumph and now i'm like eh, just, i'll work on it whenever i feel like it and then then i'll don't I'll go, I'll go back into uh, comp. So there's one thing I want to ask you. Like, how did you get started doing the whole uh, streaming content creation thing? All right. 
So basically, I started playing launch of D1, right? I, I mm -hmm. enjoyed Destiny from the start. I came from mm -hmm. Halo, which is another Bungie game. And uh, basically, within the launch of uh, D1, I was, I was pretty, you know, into the game. I could tell for sure I really enjoyed the game. And what was it? It was towards prior to Taken King. I got into Primal, right? This is a community. It was a content creation clan, and uh, all those guys do their own thing. Mm -hmm. And they really gave me the push. They were saying, you know, you need to start, you know, streaming. You need to become a content creator. And I didn't want to take it serious at first, obviously, because you know, me just being a gamer, I'm just playing the game, enjoying it, you know, spending my days just playing, you know, hours. And they said, you know, my, my, they really gave me the the deciding factor. They convinced me one day, and they said, hey, just do it see how it goes and i really enjoyed it actually so basically what happened is i would stream every day as soon as i got that incentive and um i'd stream three v3s i would just do kind of like basically three v3s every day and uh i enjoyed that a lot and i think i kind of got be uh, better as a player doing those three v3s in d1 and i basically kind of strayed towards uh tr trials and uh, i really enjoyed trials i saw a lot of a lot of my friends playing trials as well. It was something to do on the weekend, and that really helped my channel grow. Um, I think I got partnered around that time too. So we fast forward, and then uh, they take away trials, right? So trials was taken away in Forsaken, I think. Mm -hmm. That's when they finally took it out. I know they took it out um, year three as well, D1. So once they, they took that out, I was like, I was already playing comp when it was Graviton meta. So like, it was like what March of 2018. I was, I was doing trials and comp, and that's what I was enjoying mainly. That was my main focus was trials and comp, trials on the weekends, comp on the weekdays with my buddies. And I knew they took away trials, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna focus mainly on comp. And uh, I guess that helped my channel grow uh, as well because there wasn't many comp streamers on console. Mm -hmm. And what ended up happening was the not forgotten and for you know the Luna's Howl came out, both those guns came out. And a lot, I got more, I wouldn't say popularity, but I got more um, new new uh, viewers due to that because of people wanting to know what you need to do to get to comp legend or, you know, have a solid team and how things worked out. Because uh, prior to um, Forsaken, I, I, was, I wouldn't say I wasn't enjoying Destiny 2, but it was kind of at a point where, you know, I was thinking of just, I didn't know what to stream beside, you know, you know, I w it was basically comp with no rewards, you know? And then once yeah. they gave us rewards, I was like, all right, there you go. Yeah. Basically. Carrots are good, right? And it, you got to yeah. yeah, it worked, it worked out. I mean, they added the Unbroken Seal as well, right? Right. So they definitely wanted to show more focus on comp. And uh, it really worked out, honestly. I, I enjoy Destiny still to the, you know, playing every day. Playing yes. comp even now every day is pretty enjoyable to me. I'm I'm genuinely surprised that you like you play comp every single. It's day. impressive, man. Yeah. Out of enjoyment. Yeah, <laughs> out of enjoyment. I'm like, <laughs> it's impressive. <laughs> and you what been playing Destiny. What is it about Destiny? comp that you like so much? I just like closed games, man. Like I don't. I like being challenged. You know that factor mm -hmm. where you're like, all right, I'm gonna learn from this experience, win or loss. You know, like it's more of a, a learning thing for me. If I lose, you know, it's not a. You know, I'll just learn from that mistake. But when it's like closed games and you're winning, that that it, adrenaline and that hype, that's what I love. You, you know like the saying? competition like, of it. I love the competition, yeah. correct. And I like gaming with my buddies because like we all, are, you know, I say like most of the people I play with are really, you know, top tier or really good players. And when we get closed games, we all have that experience of, you know, this was a good game. You know, let's do it again, you know, tomorrow, next week, for example. You know, I just play with new people too. It's awesome. Also, so, I, I have a clan mate also who plays comp every day as well too. Okay, so you, that helps quite you a got bit, kind right? of support support to be able to do right. to play it. So yeah, I, right. I guess a lot of the reason, like I think most people don't go into comp is like you know that there's a lot of people that just they live right. there and then they have like that full squad that they're basically always with. So you're just there to like I'm just there to you know hopefully rank up and they're there. It's like a learning experience and also to just give you a learning experience so to speak and. Yeah, some people just aren't up for that. I guess. Right. I mean, I also think that you know they they didn't have comp, you know, in D one, right? So like mm -hmm. them adding comp is obviously it's something new too. So mm -hmm. it's definitely something that we I'm not used to, obviously, and a lot of people aren't used to as well. You know, a ranking system, going to legend, a quest on top of that, like it's it's 
fairly everything's completely new, obviously. So I, I think everything has been implemented pretty well. Um, and new, basically, what I'm saying. Everything's fresh. Right. Everything's fresh still. Right so, now, everything. So uh, when you when you feel like carrying me to, to 5,500, because I'm... Uh, I need that unbroken seal. <laughs> that unbroken. You need you need three seasons though, Holtzman. I, I know. I, I got but one. Yeah. Got one. Got one. Yeah. Uh, you need two more. I mean, we could go for it this. He's not going to get it this season. We could definitely game, man. But <laughs> oh, would you say? Would you say like? Slacked, would you say it's like too late at this point? If you're going to try to climb on no. PC. You know what? Actually, that's a good question because. Mm. Let's say you were trying to game with me, right? Uh -huh. I'm already 5,500 on PC. I'm, I'm honestly used to that. <laughs> no, no, that, that's not the problem. It's the matchmaking, right? Yeah. So, like, it's, it's going to be really, it's going to take a long time to find matches. You're against the numbers, you essentially. Up. Yeah, basically. Yeah. The lo if you can get as low as you, I mean, obviously, when you get to 2K, 3K, right, it would be easier. But mm -hmm. if you start off fresh, like a fresh account, fresh this season, it's going to definitely take you a long time just because of the matchmaking, not because right. we're losing games, right? Because of the matchmaking on PC. Hmm. It's console maybe a little bit different. Console's a little bit different. You can find matches, actually. Interesting. So yeah. would you say their changes for matchmaking have... Would you would you prefer it to be the way other way? Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. But, you know, I think they took a step in the right direction. Obviously, it wasn't a bad thing, you know? They wanted to implement something so it would be a little bit more fair. Mm-hmm for uh you know each party even if you're a lower rank and a higher rank but i don't think it was i think it was implemented well it just didn't turn out unfortunately yeah. it was a good idea but yeah, due to the I, pop, I, yeah. I, I agree with you there it's like a change that was done with the best of intentions but yeah, the, yeah. it uh un unfortunately it's just like a the, the main problem is just the user base isn't as large enough to support right. that yeah. type of a change yeah. and yeah i I'd, I'd wish that I wish it could. I wish it could be a really healthy population because I would much prefer it this way. Because it, it felt really good to win like twenty six consecutive games in comp and go from like two point one k to four point six k in a single night. That felt great. Also, that was on the back of a like just killing a bunch of level sevens that were doing their comp quests for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't feel that good. I mean, it, it felt great, but you know, <laughs> actually, it was actually good. really fun. It was wow. actually really great. Could I only have that experience? Please? <laughs> I would like that. From if you play solo and go up against a stack of low-level people that are new to the game, there you go. Mm. That'll balance it out. That'll be really yeah. fun. Yeah, that's balance. Yeah, that's the matchmaking we need. <laughs> well, uh, well, Churchill, well, I wanna, one more uh, question, please. though. Right, one more okay. question. You said you played Halo, right? Yeah. What's your stance on armor lock? Are you pro or against armor locking? Mm, are you talking about lock loadouts? No, no, I'm talking about armor lock. Talking about on. I only played Halo Three. I only played Halo. 3. Okay, never mind. So you don't you don't know about it. That's fine. Yeah, I only play Halo. It's 3, consider so. yourself, you know, Probably you dodge a bullet. All right. I'm gonna t I'm gonna say he's against it because he doesn't play it. Yeah, he doesn't play it. <laughs> he's <laughs> against it. He's against armor locking. That's great. I'm happy. About Aren't it. most people? No. Think, I think most there are some Pope. edge cases out there that are surprising. It's Pope that likes it, isn't it? No, no, Pope hates it. Pope hates oh, it. Okay. I hate it. Okay. Uh, look, okay. I have, I've heard okay. some conversations where that man hates it. I actually, <laughs> I've been hearing a lot about the Master Chief collection and how that's gotten significantly better just yeah. recently. Ah, uh, come on, man. The same Master Chief. Is, it won't be the I'm same. I'm serious. I played like they, the Master Chief. They just edition. patched it again, like very recently. They, they've been supporting that game for like two years now. When I tapped into it, there wasn't like a ranking system, and that's what really made me want to play Halo Three was the ranking system. So it's just kind of like you know you're just kind of playing random people. So I, I didn't really enjoy the Master Chief Collection. I don't know. Hmm, interesting. Kind of felt like they just threw it on together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they added a ranking system, but it might be worth uh, booting. I th I'm planning on booting it up again because I haven't touched it since it released. I'm waiting for it to even inevitably get like ported over to PC. That seems very likely, right? right? Like it's it seems like that's been a whisper in the air for so long. Like but, Halo Infinite, that's what it's called, right? Infinite? Yeah. Yeah. The next one. I, I feel like that's that's obviously gonna be on PC, right? Because they're doing Xbox and PC. Yeah, I mean that's the speculation, right? Is that confirmed or is that just maybe no, I don't think it's confirmed, but like the, with yeah. what Xbox has been doing, it seems all but all but confirmed, essentially, yeah. that there's going to be an Xbox and a, a PC version of it. 
Well, it'd be cool if when they did the uh, PC version of Halo Infinite, they just released the Master Chief Collection. Yeah. Like alongside yeah. it, or maybe like and, a couple months early to build hype. And Reach as well. Like, that'd be nice. Play through yeah. all the Halo campaigns to get up to Halo 6. I would know, totally the do Halo that. Master Chief Collection. I would freaking love that. Did Halo Halo 5 came out for PC or no? No, I don't think it did, yeah, right? It's only on Xbox, yeah. Got it. It. One and two were the only ones that came out for PC. Actually, the Forge mode is on PC. You can load up the Forge and it looks really nice. Oh, oh that's right. Yeah. Oh, right. But Halo 5 yeah. is available on Game Pass. It's weird because you can get Game Pass for Xbox and for PC. Mm, but some okay. games are only available on PC and some games are only available on on the Xbox. Right. And some games are available on both. But some games that are only available on Xbox do have a PC version, which is really weird. Weird. Yeah, it's weird. That is yeah. weird. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a licensing deal or but yeah, it's it's a bizarre thing. But the, you know, the Game Pass is a super good deal if you have an Xbox cuz you get a lot of the newest games. Uh Mutant Year 0 just came out on the Game Pass. Uh that's a fantastic game. What is that? I've never heard of this. It's uh, uh, similar to XCOM, but it's set in the future where everybody's a mutant. It's like a post-post-apocalypse. Everyone's um, a mutant? Everyone? Yeah, basically yeah. everybody. You play I'm as like, a is Isn't a XCOM set in the future? A top hat <laughs> and you, wear, you play as a, a ham named Hammond. A ham named Hammond? Prior, are you Hammond. making this up? Yeah. No, it's a really good game. Check it out. <laughs> it's, it's a really cool game. And there's like a lot of exploration. You can build your own weapons. and It's a cool game. It's tough, but it's good. <laughs> it sounds awesome. I like those XCOM games. Great. Very good. What are your it's opinions about right the last now on... word, What do you guys think about the last word? I hope last it's good. Word. Mm. I'm looking forward yeah. to it. Say bring it back and it's bad. Oh, oh. oh dear. Yeah, that's what I'm really worried about, honestly. You know, another thing is like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how they're going to balance it out because like, I know PC and console are very different because of the emesis. So I don't know. When I was looking at the stats, it does look like more of a PC gun than it does console. Because I feel like, I feel like not forgotten would be way more stronger than the last word. But I don't know, just based off the stats. Uh, well, uh, when, you, when you just look at the stats, or something. Yeah, I mean, hell, we thought Necrochasm would be the most amazing thing back in day <laughs> one because right. it had the fastest yeah. time oh, to kill. But then Correct. it turns out when you use it, it was a pot, hot steaming pile of garbage. No, it was uh, great. <laughs> yeah, once that I was fixed cool, it. That was cool in D1 grinding the ne- uh, necrochasm. That was mm-hmm. was fun. Was what fun. was cool about that? <laughs> well, I mean, it was you, you had you were basically thinking in your head, "Hey, you're grinding for an amazing weapon," and then when you finally got it, <laughs> unfortunately, it exploded. It, oh, it was cool how Budgie yeah. trolled us off. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, the final form was pretty good after you know two years or so. Uh, <laughs> Another reason why I was bringing up the last word is because a lot of people think that the last word is going to fix sniper flinch, right? Because a lot of people <laughs> love sniping. <laughs> and I think I don't think that's going to happen. Why would it know? fix sniper flinch? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's what they're thinking, though. You pair up with... Uh, they're just saying... I, I've, I've gotten a lot of opinions basically saying if you have a last word and a sniper, you can use that combination again, just like D1. Mm. You know? Well, the, pro- the problem there is, man... Like I feel like last words would be really good as a loadout, but problems with snipers, not with, not with last oh, word. Yeah, you, you could defend yourself better against you know shotguns shotgun. or something. In theory, Just make sure you get shot while you're holding this the last word, and then switch to your sniper. Yeah, there you go. Shot. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be it. You solved yeah. the flinch issue. Solved. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> I, I see it more of as it will you will be able to like effectively counter people that might rush you. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily that's gonna solve sniper flinch. Yeah, I think with the way the maps are designed and the the especially on PC with like right. again Titan skating mm-hmm. t- or Titan macroing, how are you going to give those Titan macro mains a sniper <laughs> <laughs> instead of a shotgun? Well, here's the thing: those Titan macro mains now also will have last word. Yeah, <laughs> they'll use so, have last yeah. word and a shotgun. So a shotgun and last they word. Their shotgun <laughs> and they That's what the meta is going to be. Down. Hopefully, <laughs> it's the last word from like year one, Destiny one. <laughs> That's also the best scout rifle in the game. The bugged ADS. That would be really good. <laughs> the bugged ADS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know. Like, I, I think the, the map design the last word? Does, it doesn't help with sniping right, right now. Doesn't the, isn't the last word somewhat less less exciting now that we have submachine guns in the game? Hmm. Well, t- submachine guns suck and hand cannons are good, so. Yeah. I'm, no. Always has the point. 
how similar do you think not forgotten is to something like uh the last word they're both 180s are they is it 180 oh, yeah, in the database last word is a 180 but it's going to be full auto right so i don't know if you can really say it's 180 was that's it, true was last word a 180 in d1 was it considered a 180 no it was technically no, I think no it wasn't a 180 it was a 150 or the equivalent of a 150 but yeah, or 140 like but it just fired really yeah. fast yeah yeah it, it yeah. was the it was the lowest impact and full auto basically made it fire faster so huh interesting because i'm like technically not forgotten on paper is essentially like you know a last word right right i mean without full auto yeah but right I, a lot of the times I would uh, I'd tap the trigger anyways when I was using last word. I wouldn't full auto it. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I'm didn't use I have a feeling it's not it. going to be it's not going to be what we hope it to be. Be like, why would I no, use why, this? Why do you say that? What, 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 what would it be? Um, just from one? what the perks that we've seen from people data mining it, mm -hmm. it just seems like it's not going to be what we what it used to be in D1. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the new perks. It, are they vastly different? Um, I can't remember exactly what they're called. I'm sure chat will say. Um, I'll look it up it while is. we're talking. Yeah. Yeah, look it up. But because I saw it and I was like, oh, yeah. I just remember having the reaction of, oh, oh no, really? <laughs> it's going to be one of these. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, I hope not. I hope that it comes back and it's amazing. I, I hope it comes back. It's one of those guns that has to be, right? It's one of those guns that we it's love iconic. so much. Yeah, Hawkmoon as well and Thorn and all those. Yeah. You have to bring them back and they have to be good. Mm -hmm. Just like Ace, man, it's just really iconic to the franchise. I don't want to explain it. It has to be good. Yeah. Well, we don't want... It's like a hit or miss. We don't want yeah. like a Mida multi-tool type of situation. No. no where no, now it's not. like, Mida? What? No, Why would I ever yeah, I've used Mida and it's still pretty good. I, I have to get my 200 headshots in PvP to finish off that catalyst but like uh, i think one of the reasons why i think last word is going to be one where there's a very real chance of it just not being on the level that we want is because it's been put on this pedestal that's so fucking high above everything else not only is like the lore implications of it being you know all that stuff there's yeah there's it was this insanely powerful thing that two tapped and then it was basically the the always constant thing that snipers would have for PvP, you know, it was it, it was one of the iconic hand cannons. Right? What what's, what hand cannons? You got Thorn, Hawkmoon, Last Word. Those were the hand cannons people always said. And you know, but, Last Word was let, the one people would usually say because that's the one a lot of people got. Let, in D1. Last Word had single point sling on it, right? Um, you could you could yeah. swap between it, right? You could be do single point sling or the one that gives you like think better reload or something like that. I mean that that played a huge factor for using um or maybe it was quick swap something like that. That played a huge factor for using the snipers because then your sniper didn't have to have right. quick swap on it. You can go back and forth really fast. If that's, did you find the perks fire? I did. Uh, the new perks are fan fire. This weapon can be fired quickly and continuously. Faster reload and increased accuracy on successive hip fire damage. Corkscrew rifling. Uh, slightly increased range and stability. Slightly increases handling speed. Accurized rounds for increased range. Hip fire grip. Ergonomic grip that increases accuracy and stability. And textured grip. Uh, the friction on the weapon's grip is particularly strong. Greatly increases handling speed. Slightly decreases stability. Handling so speed. when you hip fire it, it gets more state. What state? What? <laughs> increases reload. Increases re reload. Isn't that what it was? That sounds like it's supposed to be a hip fire weapon, not yeah. ADS weapon. Which is what yeah. it's designed yeah. for. Oh yeah. So you get. It doesn't you get have more... any of the damage perks that it used. Well, to have. well you the get increased increase accuracy and faster reload on successive hits. So you're right. It doesn't seem to boost damage. Well, at no. at the end of D1, it didn't boost damage either because they nerf, basically nerfed it. It had last word, improved stability, and target acquisition when firing from the hip. We It had... The only thing that increased damage was aggressive ballistics, which had like the 5% increase to damage, which didn't change the time to kill in PvP. So, yeah, after... So the last word perk did increase damage and stability. They took this damage and at the out of uh, it. yeah towards towards the end of D one after they balanced it for the final time because they couldn't balance 
the increased damage without it just being fucking busted. Yeah. So you hip fire and you get more accuracy and reload yeah. faster with successive hits. Exactly. Yeah. As long as it looks really cool, doing some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it. Don't get me wrong, but you know. It has to be better than the pinnacle reward and you know comp. It has to be. I really wonder if it's going to be honestly. Yeah, man, that's going to be tough. If you know, they, like I said, I was looking at the stats and I think it's more of a PC gun. But you know, the, with a large population on console, right? There's, I feel like there's more players, hundred percent, on console. Yeah, yeah. And they're not going to be satisfied with the last or not being up to par with pinnacle guns. Mm -hmm. and recoil direction is hundred. Doesn't that mean it's a straight vertical? Yeah, straight vertical yeah. recoil. What's Which interesting is, is with it being 180, it means that it should have really good inner accuracy because right. the 180s do. Yeah. So that's, that's and nice. successive hits going to increase that accuracy. It, yeah. It's interesting to think so about. So hunters jumping around and oh, hip firing. The, the biggest classic. issue is: is it worth giving up an exotic slot for that? Like that's that that's why that's a, that's a good question. That's why something like Not Forgotten, oh, not. especially on consoles, is probably going to be the go-to. See, I don't know if I don't know if they've been focusing on exotic primaries. You know, like Graviton and Vigilance Wing are kind of like they were really good in like a couple metas ago, maybe like last meta. But now they're just not up to par. I don't know if they're trying to focus on exotic primaries. They should focus on more exotics, in my opinion. But how much yeah, have really the uh, data miners gone after what the quest is to actually get this thing? Do we know like how long yeah, it's going to be? The or? entire quest has been spoiled. Um, okay, is it oh, is really? there a story? Part to the quest, or is it just going to be like go kill ten of these guys, go collect a hundred of um, these, hit fifty five hundred yeah. in comp? <laughs> <laughs> um, I I don't Can like I don't like talking about exact spoilers on the podcast because people might well, be listening. But yeah, is it? I'm not talking about exact if spoilers. It, I'm just if it's like, long or short or it, it, sound, it, it looks like it's it, it, they have confirmed it's not time gated. You'll be able to complete it at your own pace. Okay. Um, it. Seems like there will be story stuff there. I, I don't know what you consider story, Briar. You, do you consider reading <laughs> shit story? No, I'm not really. No. I'm no. saying no. <laughs> and probably don't expect that. Like, I, I, will we, will we I don't, I don't find this to be very exciting, to be honest it. with you. Like, we're getting, like, a worse version of a gun that was legendary in Destiny 1. Is it? I don't know. This isn't very exciting to me. Uh, I would have to agree, man. It's not looking super good, but we got to see how the gun uh, applies to the meta, right? Could change the whole meta. Yeah. I have no idea. It could change the whole thing. I always thought it was fun bringing Last Word in for PvE, honestly. Oh, <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. It was fun, I actually man. Did play, I, I did it play D1 fun. PvE, and uh, I would just mess around. I'd be that guy with the Last Word yeah. in the or something like that. I miss that. Sometimes yeah. you want to be a space cowboy and cap some thrall in the face, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's an iconic gun, you know. It, it had it its is. own animation. It had its own sound. It, it, oh, hundred percent. It, it acted different than any other gun in the game. It, it really fulfilled that space cowboy fantasy in like a huge way. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. I, I feel like that's what we need in the PvP because, like, right now, like it's just the same guns and it's just getting really stale, not really quickly. But it's kind of like, all right, what do I have? Like, what what do I do now? Like, you know, it's kind of like. I'm going to go for PvP weapons, but, like, what's the point, you know, of going for last word if it's not up to par with not forgotten, right? I am going to go it's after it because it's the last word, but... Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. Obviously, I'm going to do the quest. Everyone's going to do the quest for that gun. People people are voracious for any type of content in the game, so... Yeah. Even the... It's basically, even if people don't like it, they will generally do it for the most part if it ends in them getting a shiny, you know, yellow <laughs> weapon or RRP. Yeah, I mean, that's part of the hunt as an end game player. It's the hunt. Yeah, yep. completing my exotic collection. You just want the loot. Mm -hmm. Which I finally got to use Thousand Voices. Oh, man, that gun gonna, is really good. I was going to say Thousand PvP Words. Yeah, I finally got to use it oh, on a heavyweight solar nightfall. Or, I mean, no, a heavyweight <laughs> solar strikes in general. Man, that was nice. That's good stuff. <laughs> that was a nice good. time to use it. That was, that was great. Yeah, that's that's good. It's good. <laughs> just nice. <laughs> Yeah, it makes it almost feel like it's unnerfed. Yeah, just about, right? <laughs> yeah, they nerfed it recently. It was super strong in PvP, actually. If you got that gun and you know what you're doing, you're untouchable. Yeah, my frames would yeah, have been able to too. take advantage of it too at 240. Mm -hmm. Right? Bummer. Oh my god! I lowered all my graphical settings just to get higher <laughs> frame rate. <laughs> <laughs> to go into nuke uh, mode. 
Do we need shadows? Not really. (laughs) More pinnacle guns would make people want to grind the game more. I don't know. I'd give more incentive. Do you think? Do do you think that's what trials should be doing though? Like they should bring back trials, and those carrots should exist in trials. Uh, See, see, trials is like so important to Destiny. It's like people are like since they took it out, people are thriving for trials, and they want a perfect trial scenario where there'd be like three v three or four v four and balanced. They want something new, and it's like, you know, I, I kind of enjoyed that they took away trials. It took away that, you know, I, I kind of like that trials is gone. You know, obviously I want it back, but if they choose not to bring it back, just for certain reasons, I understand completely. Uh, what are your opinions, though? What do you do? You want trials back, or do you not? How do you feel about trials being as, gone? As somebody who's technically burnt out on Destiny's PvP, like I'm, yeah. I play it very few at this point now. Uh, trials was one of those things that was still fun because right. it was like we can go in like Watts says like it's a mini tournament that you can have yeah, some right. fun uh, close games some blowouts fun. and like get some loot and there's usually loot that's associated with it that was exclusive to that mode that was exciting for people to see like yeah I missed that oh yeah I'm, I remember when Holtz and Watts would play with uh, I think Ian or something that, that was really mm-hmm. fun to watch back yeah then. those were the days I, yeah. you know, there was there was rewards for doing it but there's also like that tournament mentality where you yeah, felt right. like it almost smelt, made every player who competed in it feel like you were in a competition environment. Even if you were not in like, you're not nearly a competitive player in any sort of sense, it gave you that feel right. of like, you know, like we're going to go into this and we're going to try our hardest. And if we win, you know, the loot rains down on us. And it's, you know, it, it's a really unique thing that, they just didn't capitalize on in Destiny 2. What do you, what, how do you, why do you say they didn't capitalize? Are you talking about like the experience after you go to Flawless or like during uh, the... Part of the issue, I think, was that you could get the gear without actually playing de- Trials. Yep. Mm-hmm. So like, Are you talking about part of the, Clan part of the reward, like the prestige of the reward wasn't there. Um, mm-hmm. The game yeah, mode wasn't mm-hmm. as fun as it oh, was in Destiny like 1 calm. as well. Yeah. Yeah. And, it was also it took a very long time and it was filled with a bunch of stuff that like the emoting like, just made the it feel drawn out. The emoting, emoting was like, oh, emoting in the beginning. That was it was really like, cool the first week. Uh, yeah, and no radar yeah. meta, dude. No radar meta was. Oh, uh, the no radar oh, thing was gross. Like it's oh, we need we need trials back. Trials was an exciting thing that I think no matter your skill level, you would want to hop in right. and see if you could complete some of those bounties and you know get some of the stuff. Whereas, you know, you're not going to have those kind of players going into something like comp because the only thing to get no. from comp is the pinnacle weapon. Correct. And yep. most of those people feel like they're never going to go there and get to that point. Right. So, but trials, have, trials was a different thing. You could feel some kind of excitement from competing, but you didn't have to be a top tier player to play it and yeah. enjoy it. But at the same no. time, though, so that carrot on the stick for something that is exclusive to the seven wins yes. made people want to play trials every want weekend to keep going and yeah. they maybe they had only played a few games but they got in with say won a raffle on a stream or something or lfg and happened to this was a god that was just deciding to lfg with people and carry people like that those were moments that people really enjoyed and, and it created memories and some of that actually the majority of that has, sh- has shifted over to comp but it's such a long like experience for that to pay off what do you mean it shifted over towards comp what does that mean luna's howl and not forgotten those are essentially the things that like somebody who doesn't really play it but would like to get those guns and and have the experience also not pay for it you know like have the experience of going through it and like you know getting those games that you win and lose that happened every weekend for people on a on a seven win ticket and those were exciting Especially the fact that only those some of those things were rewarded at the lighthouse, and then they took that away. And you had random rolls too. Yeah. Uh huh. Also, what happened to what are they boons that they were called? Where you bought the three boons and oh, like one of them was good, mercy. Was yeah, mercy. Yeah, I thought that yeah. was really good too. Because like not as a not a plus player, right? I still felt right. like with those boons, like my team had a chance. Like we could get unlucky and ah oh, shit, we're up against pure chill. Like we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna take one. They're We're gonna the take moon. the L here. Right. And you're like, but, it's okay, it's okay. You know, we, we, we've only got three watch. matches left to win, so we, you know, we could still get right. get this done, right? And I think it, it it made made it more fun for people who aren't like absolute top tier. I feel like yeah. it puts more pressure as well, Briar, too. Forgiveness there. 
puts a lot more pressure on the player too when you're not performing well and uh, you need to get the card done and the guy has that, uh, X amount of time before he has to get off, you know? Yeah. I think that mercy rule was really, really well implemented. I don't know why they took it out. Charles yeah. was yeah. just so good when they brought it out, man. Like just yeah, you enjoyed the game it a lot. It was really fun. It was an exciting game mode. It created a lot of exciting experiences the loot was really good the seven wins thing was really good alternating maps as well it it's almost like they they went too far towards a competitive environment for it even though right fundamentally it wasn't really set up yeah. to be a true competitive experience with like you know no dedicated servers or anything like that but like they, they just pushed it a little too far that direction and those things like the boons and the fact that um matchmaking i think was win based instead of skill based like those things helped it be more uh, approachable by a lot of different people as opposed to like, hey, you got to be you got to be ready to sweat. And if you haven't, go get good. You know? And it was 4v4 compared to 3v3 as well, right? Yeah. So it's a different factor. It's a completely different game mode uh, altogether, yeah. actually. Plus, the, it was alternating as well in uh, Destiny 2 launch. It was Countdown and Survival, which are two brand new game modes introduced into the game. And uh, I think at first, survival was really long. For some reason, it was dragged on very long. They had to, it like, did take a short, long time. Yeah. They had to shorten it themselves. And it, like if you went down on like your your fifth or sixth win, like the <laughs> just the time investment of yeah. going through again for another round, like you'd lose oh, people. Yeah. Just like I don't know, man. In two hours, I got to pick up my kids. Like I don't know if I got yeah, time exactly. for another round. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be working in the morning in two hours. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta get married in two days. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Charles had this weird thing where it was it was a competitive mode, but it felt more fun and relaxing than something like yeah. comp. It was a lot more casual than what we have right now. Yeah, yeah for sure. And that was that was perfect for Destiny. It didn't feel special in Destiny too because it was the same as comp, and you could play it comp anytime you wanted. Yeah, exactly. That was weird. It was literally the same, and that Ben, and then the armor. Yeah, it, in my opinion, didn't look as good. See, and then getting the the flawless version of that armor yeah. when you have the ornaments on it, you couldn't really even tell that they were on it. Exactly. Yeah. Now imagine popping a bounty and you get not forgotten out of it. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. I mean, well, but that would take mm -hmm. away it would take away the desire or like the. Yeah, I know. It would take away the payoff. And so, like, all those weapons that were in uh, the first trials, or, or D2 Trials 1, were essentially a lot of the, the wind was taken out of those sails because you could just get them out of a bounty. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that is true. That is true. To the, I think the reward structure was one of the worst things about the new trials, where yeah, it was getting, right. getting tokens, getting tokens and turning those in, so it feels like every other reward no. thing you mm -hmm. do in the game, and then once you had everything since there wasn't random rolls on stuff like yeah you could get everything in like two weeks yeah, yeah. you're, you're like, everything, right, cool. everything we're done plus you uh, have people yeah. getting trial stuff from clan engrams yep. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. and the, yeah, the guys have even want to see took a dive I played trials yeah. still got stuff i have that gun you wanted never played trials <laughs> wow <laughs> oh it was so it was so bad it was it was bad I don't Everything know how they could fix it right now, though. I don't know what they could implement right now. To I think they could just go back to the way it was. Just yeah, but back, then you're like, gonna you're gonna upset certain certain individuals because they like four before certain people. Pure, like pure, pure chill. But they'll still have. Wait a minute, pure chill. We're not gonna upset somebody on the internet, are we? No. I mean, I don't know if I could handle it. No. <laughs> no, you're not gonna upset them, but they genuinely. There's certain people that genuinely enjoy the way it is, and they would. They probably wouldn't come back, or they would. Just not play the certain playlist, right? Because certain people like that type of play style. You know what I'm saying? On the flip and side, though, games. flip side, they've lost they a lot gone. of people from that, though. Correct, correct. No, they lost right, everybody because they took it away. Yeah. Right. <laughs> there's, there's well, no a lot way. of people don't, don't play PvP anymore because it's like it's in a pretty bad state at the moment, especially with all you, the DDoSing. Like that's just going to push uh, even yeah. more people from right. not playing. The average player. Why is the average player going to be like, you know, I'm going to go into comp? Oh wait, my entire internet's down. Guess I just won't do that anymore. This happens every yeah, time I go like, into I, comp. <laughs> Weird. It's like, hey, I gotta go buy a new router every time I play comp. It's like, why do I? Why would I play comp? You know, if I gotta drive to my, you know, local service center, buy a new router, or swap out the router. To, Does it smoke your router? It can no, do. I, 
It can. Really? Wow. Basically, it can, yeah. Depends what they're doing, man. I, I don't know. It's just a little bit weird right now. It's a little bit weird. Huh. Yeah. It, makes, yeah. it makes it harder to play comp, obviously, too, because that's where the main stuff is happening. Obviously, we talked about it earlier happening in quick play as well, and it's just very unfortunate. You didn't see too many of it in D1, you know? Oh, it even happened with Goth's team for the raid, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, my God. it's now spread to everywhere. If someone just wants to be an ass, like, they're just going to do it. Yep. Yeah. I got if picked up. That, you know... When that happened during the raid, that one got picked up by some like pretty big news outlets. I, I mm -hmm. remember seeing. Yeah, really. Like, that can't feel good, right? For like Destiny's kind of reputation just overall. Yeah, reputation. Like I don't know if there's any way they could start hiding um, IP addresses for players, uh, but peer to peer, they can't do that. They can't do that. So, guys, why not uh, sign up for a VPN service? <laughs> You sign uh, yeah. up for a VPN sure. service, they take out your VPN. <laughs> They're pretty ruthless, man. Huh? It's just and it's just the amount of millisecond delay that's added when you use a VPN. The, yeah, the that amount, doesn't feel as good. You have to you basically have to put your own money in. You gotta put your own time and you gotta basically do extra precaution just to play the game sometimes. And it's really unfortunate because you know, let's say you didn't have the resources or you just like, you know, your average gamer who just really is, you know, doing, you know, juggling school or you know doing other stuff you kind of just don't want to deal with the situation and you just play a different game or yeah. you just you don't play the same playlist again or you just don't play in general i just don't play pvp for the most part anymore because i i don't know the only times that my internet has suspiciously gone down in the past two years has been when i played comp it's <laughs> it's really amazing convenient like just coincidence <laughs> surely surely it's coincidence you know uh but you should yeah, get better so internet like, i, I I, I should yeah. I should get better internet. You know, it's outside of when I've played comp. It's only gone down during you know gale force winds that happened to rip through Seattle. So yeah, it's, mm. how much was your router Just connect directly up to the how pipeline? Much how, how much money you spent on router? router? Oh my god! Uh, I think I spent two hundred on mine. I think if you're not spending a thousand bucks on your router, then you're doing it wrong, man. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 With okay. a built-in VPN, like multiple Are you gonna router IPs in now? the router. I mean, if it's <laughs> if it's not like a pro network grade, you know, like business class routers, like I, I don't know why you why are you even playing, man? <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna set. Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. I'm gonna set up like one of those mob. Not. I'm gonna get like one of those wireless antennas so I can right. like just find various wireless signals to play off of. That are like just around town. Like oh. I, can, I can point it at McDonald's. I can get, point yeah. it at you know, get McDonald's you library, wherever. I'm just <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna start playing off that and <laughs> streaming <laughs> off that. So if they fucking DDoS that, it's like, well, there McDonald's Wi-Fi is down, boys. Time to That's point perfect. it towards the library. If, <laughs> if the if, do you have any government Wi-Fi access points around? Because nobody's Ooh. watching that right now. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's here we good. go. Interesting. That's just wide yeah, open right now. I should, I should, yeah, I should like brute force, you know, hack the wi the wireless, but only for the purpose of using it. And getting so them arrested and trying to bait DDoSers into it. Hmm. <laughs> to catch a DDoSer. This, this sounds brilliant. Actually. <laughs> Someone should make you know this. That guy a, got arrested. Thing. Really? Yeah, it's but just so common now too. Right? Like you see a bunch of streamers tweet out every day, "Oh, DDoS attack," mm -hmm. and it's, it really sucks that nothing's implemented because I see the same group of people doing it, and they don't. They get away with it. They're just yeah, willy nilly. They get away with it. You can report them. You can do whatever you want. They will come back. Yeah, and they'll come back with a vengeance. That's the problem. It doesn't seem to change anything. Well, it's so easy to do, and it's so easy to like get you know, away with change well. your identity. Yeah, it's it's just so easy, man. And it just I guess it's just part of what you know the gaming experience is right now for Destiny too. And maybe you know I I what we were talking about Anthem earlier. You know Anthem has dedicated servers. So. Anthem has no PvP either. So I know. I know. I know. You know. But you know, I might DDoS Tefty to get that loot drop from him. Oh yeah, DDoS. I might yeah. DDoS him for fun. Personally, <laughs> I see Tefty playing <laughs> comp. I'm gonna match him. Man. Like, you know, gotta gotta make sure it's free. I'm getting five different VPNs, so I can like just switch it. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have my VPNs on a button in front of me, like a like a uh, put it console, on your stream deck. You know? Like yeah, just v be like VPN one, 
VPN two, VPN three. You know which one I'm gonna be. <laughs> yeah, on. watch, I'm just gonna keep pressing. Like watch just somebody get hacked in a movie where yeah. you gotta go to like Europe, <laughs> then Russia, then China. I'll be like, I'm in India now. Oh, guess what? <laughs> South Africa. Oh, now I'm in New York. What you gonna do, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it, VPNs, you know, they cost money per month, and exactly. they slow down your internet. So it's exactly. it's kind of a bummer that like gamers are like VPNs are a pain in the ass. Yeah, no joke. Yeah. They are yes. a pain in the ass. They if, really if, are. If you guys have to, you, I can hear the frustration in your voice. It's, it's, it's obviously something joked about, but it's, it's a serious thing happening, and it's, it really does suck, man. Because, like, like Tefty said, it cuts your upload, mm-hmm. and you don't even know if you're using or if it works sometimes because they can mess up your stuff even with a VPN, unfortunately. So, it, it leaves you at like a, a point where you're like, I don't know if it's my internet, I don't know if it's them messing with me. You know, I've implemented everything i can to protect myself still this is happening and you just it gives you that paranoia just a bit you know you don't know if you're protected completely yeah of the vpns i've tried is they're not 100 percent reliable either so like no. you might right. always be checking the same or using the same server and then it's like oh this server's just down now <laughs> like so now i gotta <laughs> yeah. find another server with a decent ping time and it's just a pain i think someone just needs to come up with an invention that fights back against the ddosers it could mm. be fighting. It could like brass send knuckles. the packets back to their computer. It sterilizes aluminum them. baseball bats. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I like it. it. Like can't can't read it. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> Digital kneecapping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I like this. But I will tell you though, in comp, it is very common that you will get DDoS hundred percent. Like, <sighs> if you're not running a VPN mm. in comp, you're just you're asking for either a DDoS that day or the next day when you're streaming because these guys will hold your information for the next day. You know, it's pretty right. that's, that's why you you either have to contact your ISP, get your IP address change, if that's mm-hmm. something they can do, or you have to wait for it to just naturally like refresh. Or invest basically. in a gaming router, which does that obviously too. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Fine. Hopefully, Very hopefully fun. it gets dealt with because like obviously nobody's happy well, about the situation. Your gaming router can't change your IP address. Like you have to. Yeah. Most, you have to call your ISP. Most of them have. I have, I have Most ISPs address. give you a, a static ISP. Well, you can have you can have dynamic, but if it's dynamic, then like you have to wait for the cycle, yeah, or you can talk right. to force it. It depends on your ISP, obviously. Yeah. So let, let's say yeah. you're a, a content creator and you couldn't change your ISP. You know. It's kind of a scary situation. It's like most people saying. can't. You know, like most people have one ISP that's decent in their Comcast. You know, in their yeah. Usually. Well, some people hey, don't have one that's decent. Cares. <laughs> sure. This is Comcast Cares. I see that you're talking about us. Uh, if you want any help, uh, please DM us so we can get your account info. <laughs> what is up with the Comcast oh, Cares Twitter? Good lord! I don't know. Oh, they're man. on. It. I saw that they're on, on it. Every like they are ready to. Somebody go. just mildly mentions how bad Comcast is. They're like, "Hey, this is David from Comcast Cares. I'd really like to help you out. <laughs> oh. Hit me with the DM, and uh, we can get you sorted. Thanks, buddy." Because. Because I feel like Comcast is a good company, but they don't know how to deal with the situation. Or they could be a bad company and they just have good customer service. My experiences with Comcast is they're not a good, the best ISP and the customer service is not the best. Mm. But it is what it is. I mean, like I said, the issue just makes well, you... They made a good investment in our government, though, so that that's working out well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, you guys, no, I, no TWAB I, today, by the way. Guys. Yeah, no yeah, TWAB today. Probably. So, <laughs> since there's no TWAB, I'm going to show everyone the new magic hobby cards. that I have picked up. It is not World of Warcraft, and it's not magic cards. Is it? Can we take a guess at what it is before you is show it us? Poker. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, you take, yeah. Mm, you hold on. Guess. It's something that he picked up and brought. You got it. Or was uh, Yu Gi Oh so cards. So it's something that you have to catch. Yu Gi Oh yeah. cards. <laughs> Uh, not cards. <laughs> um, you're collecting vintage vinyl records. Oh, that I would is love something that. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Holtz, we would connect on a spiritual space level. For all those. Yeah, yeah, that's I have, expensive. I have no space for those. You can make space. Trust it's me. Some, it looks like it's something small. By the way, he's he's handling. So I I um... did you get a baby duck? <laughs> no, I did not get a baby. Uh, how duck. How about a teacup pig? <laughs> Fifty it pounds. Not an animal. It was not an animal. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, Did it could be knitting. GM is it knitting? Edition on a Genesis. <laughs> it's not knitting, although that's a <laughs> that is something I wouldn't mind doing. Uh, knitting is pretty cool. 
Um, Those are clowning Holtz. <laughs> <laughs> Holtz is a new beanie, man. I always see Holtz in the same beanie. Oh, you know? hey, like, new this beanie. beanie is a timeless classic, and this beanie, beanie is also. Is it a new beanie cut? Co- it's a beanie cut. It's not a new beanie. No, no new beanie. Oh, that's unfortunate. Did you? Uh, is it mushrooms? Have you started doing shrooms? I wore a beanie in a YouTube video the other day, <laughs> and somebody to... said in the comments, "Are you trying to be Holtz now?" <laughs> yes. Yes. He no. Is. I, I said yes. Okay. Always. So we're Holtz not just sitting awesome. here. Be more like Holtz. So we're not here just <laughs> sitting and guessing at what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, All right. it, I, I I got a lock picking kit, and oh, I'm learning how God. to pick locks. Because you want to okay. burglarize people. Learn how to pick locks. That's pretty cool, actually. It's it's. I don't want to burglarize anyone. I just want. <laughs> I don't know. I think locks you know, are really cool. Holtz and is like I like the type of guy that likes to pick locks. Like, don't you think? Like, you just like walk up to that person. Yeah, you walk up to him. He's the type of person to like you know break in your house or something crazy, right? He's practicing for when he finds the DDoSers IP oh, to find their address. That's so a little trace back. back. Really house. brutal. But yeah, there's like this. You, you can get like these little clear locks that, that you can learn how to. Like move all the tumblers in there, and then hey, look, yeah. it, it opened. There you go. Damn, man. Uh, yeah. Can I hire this you will be really lock? good in Resident Evil. Yeah. You're preparing for your Resident oh, Evil. Oh, you're gonna be the master of unlocking. Is. Yeah. Oh yeah. New <laughs> yeah. hidden <laughs> hidden thing unlocked. Yeah. So now, like, I so I I, I mastered the completely clear lock really uh-huh. easily. Uh, now you gotta so do it by feel to, though. Yeah, no, that and so now I now I went to uh, get oh like just God, simple, simple. Uh, like, have you had any luck with the real lock? Like the yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, no, I've had some. Uh, I, I I've had some luck with this one. The main problem uh, with this one is like it's so shitty that you can't really pick it that. How well? much was the lock? Six bucks. Uh, oh, or you, or do you Six mean bucks. the? Uh, no, do you mean the? Uh, no, no, the one that you're picking right now. Uh, like the practice one with um, like a bunch of uh, lock picks was like twenty bucks. Okay, but like you're gonna be a god when I'm Fallout bad. Five comes out, man. You're just gonna <laughs> <be> a- <laughs> honestly when when the when the apocalypse hits, man, you're gonna be really good at getting into the resources and stuff because you got the yeah. lock picking. Oh my yeah. god! Uh, right. Yeah, the, see, the problem is like <laughs> with any with any hobby. Uh, <laughs> this is a hobby. hobby Yes, this I is think this is like hobby. a profession. This is like yeah, a, hobbies. This is a uh, skill that you can all do. hobbies can Pick turn into locks. professions, Briar. You know, yeah, no, the pro- some the problem people with this call burglarizing like homes get... a hobby too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What do you like to do for fun? Some people, oh, yeah, some people get a kick. <laughs> some people get a kick out of it. You know, adrenaline rush. I see what's happening. And, and this, is like, a, this is a dangerous, uh, dangerous place you're walking. Well, holds. well it's, it's a dangerous hobby because all the cheap locks are shit. There's no like huh. cheap lock to buy that can like really, <laughs> like once you learn how to pick master locks, which takes not a lot of time because the cords are really uh, shitty on them. From what I found, and uh, that should open if I just turn that. Yep. Yeah, okay. Boom. There, we there go. you go. Look at that. Live on air. Live on air. Picking locks. What subclass wow. are you guys gonna main after the? Uh, the lock picking lock one. Pick. <laughs> oh my god! I'm pretty sure it's a warlock. I'm gonna main void. storm. Not Samantha. touching the Nova That's anymore. next week's. That's next week's <laughs> podcast, Briar. Oh you know, my I'm bad. I'm probably so doing. Uh, I, I'm 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 probably sticking to Hunter. You know, Blade main Barrage. Yeah. I have a golden gun. Blade Barrage is my baby. I will I only use... Pony, though. Blade Barrage is getting nerfed, though. Just a bit. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I'm up. Yeah, Hunter. Hunter for life. Yeah. Hunter for life. Oof. Why don't you come over to Warlock or Titan? The Blade Barrage uh, will chill. That, that nerf won't affect. Calm down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that won't affect PVP, will it? That's just a PVE nerf, isn't it? What uh, Blade Barrage? I thought it was PVP. Yeah. The decrease. I think it's like damage when you're using your super. I think. It'll probably it'll affect PVE more. I I I think there's probably edge cases where it'll basically they changed the damage to be more on the explosion effect of the knives instead of the direct impact. So you're probably I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That that could that could go either way. That could be make it more consistent in PvP because there's some pretty janky times where like you land all your knives around someone, but they didn't directly impact it, so nothing happens. Wait, Tefty, I thought you were a warlock. Mm. See, Tefty. Mm. On Twitter, people have been talking mm. about you and people your talk warlocks. A lot. All right. yeah, oh, like, every time people I tune into talking. Tefty's stream, he's always a warlock. Yeah, he's always on warlock. That's what I was confused. I'm about. trying to get my final exotic from a warlock. Mm. That's what all. is that? What is that? Chromatic fire. 
You know? Mm. Imagine. That is that one. Okay. Imagine for a second. There's a field (laughs) and it's been nuked. All right. 20 years. Close close your eyes for this. All right. There's a a a mental field. It's very wide and vast, and there's a, a nuke in that goes off and decimates. Like megaton? Megaton nuke decimates the field, all right? Okay? And then 20 years later, there's like this single flower that's growing in the middle of it, all right? A single flower. Mm-hmm. That sounds familiar. That's my warlock exotic, <laughs> all right? I will... I, I just I'll, I'll you know I'll I'll step into the field that's been nuked for a little no, bit it, to get that cool warlock exotic, exotic. All right. What about titans? Are any love towards titans? Any of you guys going to titan? Oh, I love my titan. My titans for fun. No, we kicked the only titan off the podcast. Oh my god. <laughs> this is this is this is all hunters. All hunters yeah, on the yeah. podcast. Even Watts. Watts, your hunter. Yeah, I don't even play anything. She's like Hunter anymore. Prime. Oh <laughs> you have, she has one character. He, on I bet you he's on Blade Barrage too. Are you on Blade Barrage? No. Nope. No? I don't enjoy Blade Barrage. What do you enjoy then? What's your favorite? Um, Night Stalker, just in general, and then probably Mid Tree Arc Strider is really fun. Mid Tree Arc Strider. That's no a Blade Barrage. I don't enjoy no Blade Barrage. Not even chucking the little like the the parlor knives, being like. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> those are fun. Hey, Why Jeff, would I do that when I can We want to share with up. the community today. That's true. Yes, we, we do. Do we want to do should, it now? We should share that before we, we go into now? Twitter questions. All right. Yeah. You want to wait till before Chris, Twitter questions? I'd say, I'd say, say, Christmas? Time, I'd say this Christmas. would be a perfect definitely time before Christmas. <laughs> before Christmas. Yeah, this would definitely be a perfect time to go into Twitter questions. So if we're at that point, then we could do that. Are we at that point? I don't know. Are you guys feeling it? I'm not feeling it. Pure chill. What do you think? Should we do Twitter questions? Uh, totally up to you guys. I'm, I'm cool. You're right. Questions. Fuck Twitter. Fuck Twitter. Fuck, Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> Fuck Twitter. And we're going with it. <laughs> and Warlocks. He said it too. I heard him. That's right. Hey, I never said that. You guys show time. Pure Chill hates man. Mario and Twitter. Pure That's what we and Warlocks. <laughs> and he hates Warlocks. I absolutely love And Warlocks. It's okay. Right, Warlock, Warlocks is just me. I, I'm not explaining that. I just love the melee. I love this subclass. It's okay, man. You can be you. It's fine. Hey, sometimes you want to drop a pool of urine and get healed from it. It's okay. You know? Sure. Ur- urinal irradiance is a thing. Yeah, do you want to people... play Hunters? You want to crutch on the jump? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do want to crutch on the jump. Not only do I want to crutch <laughs> on the jump, <laughs> I want to crutch on the jump harder with the... And the shade step. Don't forget about the shade step. Yeah. Don't forget about the shade step. All of the like, above. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Honestly, I personally can't play Hunter anymore. Honestly, I tried it the other day and I just, I just couldn't do it. I don't know why. It's just right, we got to properly house. introduce this video, but I, I'm I'm looking for who it's by. Uh, a Cobalt Hero. And I lost the tweet. Tough, did you have Does anybody else have that handy? Cobalt Hero. A Thank Cobalt you. Hero, yeah. This was something that was sent to us by Cobalt Hero and it was freaking amazing. Absolutely really amazing. Good. This is this That's is really incredible. Uh, we are going to play this video. It's about two minutes. Uh, also, it's a song. So if you are listening on the podcast, just imagine some extremely well edited cuts and clips of the podcast going along with the song. So we're going to play that right now. Also, I'm going to mute us. Okay. okay. We'll see you in two minutes, guys. And we are back. That is amazing. Yeah. It was Cobalt Hero that did that, right? On YouTube. Hero, if, you, yep. if you're so listening good. to the podcast version of this, you got to go and check out the video version. So go over to Cobalt Hero's YouTube channel. It is hilarious. Like, it's really good. There's even, my favorite scene is actually him in all like, five in the stairs, podcast. Yeah. yeah, it's, 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 yeah. Like impersonating it, all five us, of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's great. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, like the editing on that and uh, the harmonies and all that and the way it lines up like it's yeah. just top I notch. think I need to hire him to be a video editor for me it's really like, good it's yeah. a hilarious video it's good it really is good yeah. guys I feel like we made it like as as a media type podcast thing I feel like we made it can so we insane. just like cruise from here now like are we good are we hitting the cruise um, <laughs> should we just phone it in from now on Explain on top of that. What does that mean? I, I mean, like, it, <laughs> it's like, it doesn't really hit you, like, how, I don't know, how, how big it is. Like, 
He's gonna cry. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking cry. I'm, cry. I'm giving some tea here. You're like getting emotional. I see you. She's, she's concerned. Do you need to pick it's a lock? Like, it's I don't know. It's like I see I see people doing like stuff right. like this for like roost for like rooster teeth level stuff. I'm like this is really fucking well made. This person really put is. so yeah. much time into yeah. this. Yeah. Yep. And it's yeah. like we're just we're just like this little podcast, man. Our, I think I think you. this means that we can now enter our booze and Ferrari phase. <laughs> yes, right where we really just go off the rails in a couple Ferrari of years, mental rehab, and come back really, you know, really strong with our third oh, album. We're going to rehab, okay? I'm mean, never coming back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, we you got to give it time to <laughs> settle in a little bit. <laughs> the booze and Ferraris era, love it. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good oh, part of the show. <laughs> I can we can afford Miller Light and I can have, I, I can oh, get some Hot Wheels. Some the hot Miller Light and hot, Honda okay. Honda phase. <laughs> Not even Hondas, really. I mean, yeah. The uh, Kia and Miller Light phase of the podcast. <laughs> used Kia, Natty used X. used Kia, very used. Yeah, two thousand ten era Kia. Uh, let's just turn to questions. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. I'm bringing them up right this moment. All right. Mamba says, how does it feel to have a specific destiny move named after you? I.e. I just got pure chilled. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> so what? It, what is that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is the pure right, chill? So Set it up not, for us. It's not started. It's not is started. it teabagging? I feel like it's going to be teabagging. No, it's not <laughs> Basically. <laughs> oh, my God. So basically, in D one, I would play against uh, Sir Demetrius and Luminosity a lot, right? We do three v three sweats, you know, you know, really, you know, intense games. And I would, in particularly, and nobody was playing Nova Bomb at the time. I was the only one playing Nova Bomb. It was like very, very new and coming to play Nova Bomb because Sun Singer was really strong still due to Firebolts, and um, not that many people wanted to switch their subclass. So I'd main Nova Bomb, and basically, what happened was. I just basically would use one my, my super for one person, and they would oh. call that a pure chill. And uh, basically, the, so, the, the solo, solo super, Nova Ball. the solo <laughs> super, <laughs> super. All right. just to make an orb for the team. Just yeah, oh, so basically, nice. Those guys kind of <laughs> sparked it up super. a little bit more. Yeah, you put the them on super. ice with a Nova bomb. Yeah, you did put me on ice. Yeah. But one now, of my you, favorite quotes from Destiny One was when a uh, Sun Singer would die, and they'd use their self res, and he says, "Hey guys, I'm gonna make orbs for you." Motherfucker, oh. we all know you just died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's oh, great. man. But now, now people are, they, they kind of transition it to like the handheld supernova. So, like, if you get a kill with the handheld supernova, they're like, oh, he just got pure chilled. No, I don't know. That, sound, that sounds almost skillful. We need to keep it to just the solo nova bomb. <laughs> solo novas? Oh, I'll take yeah. that. Solo <laughs> Even though the one shot nade is, you know, not, you know, not it's, comparable. It's not overpowered. <laughs> It's a little bit strong. It's a little bit strong. I'm kind of glad they kept it that way, though. Nova Warp is really good. Right now, before nerf. Hmm. After nerf, is not going to be too good, in my opinion. Praxic Eternal says, where would you guys rank this meta compared to Destiny 1 Year 1, Destiny 1 Year 2, Destiny 1 Year 3, and Destiny oh, wow. 2 Year 1? Jesus Look, does, anyone have a, a, does anyone have a document? Okay, so <laughs> we'll try for meta to, at the top. Hold on. Excel spreadsheet. Well, said, oh. I'm bringing up Excel yeah, right now. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Taken King that pulse is rifle question. meta at the top. Taken King pulse rifle meta at the top, and then like yes, e Pulse, everything else just kind of going agree. down. We all there. agree. Let's just bring that I meta back. Come on, King meta. Oh my god, it was so good. Shade Step just came out. Storm came out. Hawksaw. Dude, Pulse my Hawksaw. P. What is it? Uh, P. D. X. I don't know what it's called. P. Yep. D. X. Yep. Yeah, those are all beautiful. Thousand Yard Stare was. was it worked. So good. Oh, everybody. No mercy. Everybody had their so standard good. issue. Thousand Yard Stare that had uh, Firefly Void. Because they got right. it. Right. <laughs> Longbow is still good. Uh, it's just a beautiful metal altogether. Double Shade Step as well. That was a good meta. I mean, it was that's the year I had one. So much fun in that mm -hmm. meta. D one year one was special because it was so new and fresh. Right. Yeah. Year two, like, seemed to. It took some of the best parts of year of year one and kind of just it enhanced them. Well, year three got messy. By the end of year two, it was 
hey, remember all those things you liked? They've been nerfed. Yeah, that's, yeah, true. that's true. And by year three, it was just sticky grenades everywhere. Oh, and sidearms. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man, I mean, you, you can blame the player for using sticky nades. There's not uh, much stuff viable, right? A lot of things got nerfed. I will look. Yeah. You're right. I can't, but I will. <laughs> I will. I'm with Holtz. Yeah. <laughs> I will be irrationally blame. I will get <laughs> irrationally angry at those. People. That's right. <laughs> uh, Simkowit says, on one hand, no one wants gear from Destiny One to come into Destiny Two because we want new and interesting guns and exotics. But on the other hand, so many players are excited about Destiny One's last word coming back. Why is that? And when can No Land Beyond and Pocket Infinity come to Destiny Two? Yeah. No Land would be fun. No Land would be really fun. I kind of agree with them with the armor, though. Like, some of the armor is kind of, like, not as unique or it doesn't look as sharp as, like, Taken King stuff, even. I don't know. Everything is kind of not bland, but just looks the same. And then also, I think Watts was talking about enhanced perks and Iron Banner. You know, we, we need that. We need more of enhanced perks on yeah. certain weapons. Like, I don't even care what it looks like as long as it has enhanced perks, you know? Yeah. Uh, as far, as far as like an answer to the question though like why it's like yes people people like older stuff they also right. want newer stuff i think people are fine with having older stuff as long as you just don't pay for it like if that yeah. is part That's of how i feel about update, it people are Absolutely. i think people are fine with it yeah but i'm not gonna get super excited about it you're i feel like you're not super excited about anything unless it's like anthem or... Oh my god. That's not fair. Division. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair, Briar. Briar loves Everest, man. What are you saying? He is, he's gonna be all about head. Kingdom Hearts 3. Eververse man. and Eververse and <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Vault 3. Space. That's Briar. Oh man, I remember back in D1 when we would freak out over some extra vault space, man. That, those are the days. I still freak out over it. I mean, it's pretty nice, but uh, for my my vault collection is kind of the same stuff. I don't know about you guys. I'm collecting the same stuff over and over again. Do you got fifty my edge vaults. transits? Yeah, I did. I did prior to the patch. I always did get you? edge transits left and right. Yeah, I did. I was. You saved. Them? I wasn't collecting them. No, I deleted all of them. I was like, why is it such a big drop rate? But Killing I talked me, to DMG and they. Yeah, I I deleted them all. <laughs> I talked to DMG. It wasn't supposed to be in the loophole so much, actually. Yeah, you know what's weird is I get one maybe every other week in Edge Transit, and I've been trying to hit mm -hmm. 50. I'm six away right now from 50 in my... Six. No. Yeah, six. You're close. You're I, close. I'm so close, and yet I put in like several hours almost every day, and I'm like, where are my Edge Transits, man? Then one of them dropped from like a Prime Engram. It's crazy. Prime so, Engram. Yeah. It's, nope. it, no, I'm it's not, not that Edge. It's not that Edge Transit like was dropping more it's that it was the only heavy and on top yeah. of that like if that's the only heavy that will drop out of engrams combine that with um like you need to have heavy weapon drops to be able to level up your heavy weapon um yeah, that's why you're going to just see it drop a shit ton more <clears throat> why tefty why do you want the edge transits are you just trolling or is that like a certain gun that you want i was gonna put them all together for an ultra edge transit Basically an exotic oh, version, yeah. yeah. There's a hidden quest oh, that nice. I've been, I've been banking on. I really yeah, hope. If it actually happens. Actually, yeah. You know, <laughs> one of one of the steps. Get an emblem. One of the steps, yeah. Delete fifty edge transits in a row. So oh. I need to make sure I'm ready for that. That would be good. <laughs> That's the last weird one right there. That's how you started. Yeah. Are any of them masterworks? No, I haven't had a single one drop as masterwork. Oh I've, I kid you not, I've collected every single edge transit that's dropped since the second week of Forsaken. And I am still six away from hitting 50. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I'm not even 650 <laughs> on the platform. I am 649. It's not like I, you know, hardly play the game or anything. Uh, Sam says, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> if you could bring one other video game mechanic to Destiny, what would it be? Hmm. Dedicated servers. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if that's a game mechanic. It's a game mechanic? A, I don't think that's a game mechanic. <laughs> it's a mechanic of the game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's a game I don't mechanic. Know. Halo, Halo's grenades were different, right? Like, let's say, let's just say, like, you know, compare it for Halo. Like, they had a different, I don't know, like, they had multiple selections for nades. 
So I don't know. I feel like maybe they could add another grenade to a certain subclass. Who knows? That's what I would like. Maybe a different grenade or something like that. What about you guys? We're talking about any any feature of a game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a game okay. mechanic. Oh, game any, mechanic. Any other video game mechanic? Any other game video game mechanic? Like a horde mode or okay. Forge yeah. So or... I would put. Oh, I'd put. I'd take Diablo's Greater Rifts. Forge. Greater Rifts and put it into Destiny. That would be good. That would be good. What are greater rifts for people? They're like endless dungeons. Endless okay. dungeons. Yeah, they also have like they get more difficult as you clear each one, okay. up until a point where you have to like mm-hmm. quit essentially. I'd take Guild Wars One Hall of Heroes. What's that? Yeah. What is so that? it was a PvP mode. So the Guild Wars had a bunch of different PvP modes. This one was eight v eight. And you could go in with random people or your clan, whoever you wanted to go in with. And But the thing that was really cool about Hall of Heroes is you had to work your way up through multiple different game modes to get to the Hall of Heroes. And then when you win in the Hall, it announces it to the entire server that so it would be like Tefty Tef's team just won in the Hall of Heroes. And then oh, you hold cool. it down, you stay in the Hall, and you keep winning. And it announces really it cool. to the whole server. That's really it cool. Was That's really awesome. good. And the loot was really good. Really could nice. you could you fit that into faction war somehow? Probably faction yeah. rally somehow. What happened to the faction rally actually? They threw what him out. They, they put him in the garbage. garbage. Yeah, they took it off the table. They're gonna rework. <laughs> they deleted so the code. What if, <laughs> so what if I want the graviton uh, masterwork for? Yeah, you know they were supposed to give us a way to get them, right? Yeah, they were. Whatever happened to that? I don't think they ever implemented a uh, next step. I think there's a farm up north. And they yeah, sent him there. No, that's, yeah, no. so, that's where my dad brought Barney. <laughs> so Barney's got a masterwork now? He's with the masterworks. <laughs> with the on masterwork. I would take Trials of Osiris out of Destiny 1 and put it in Destiny. There nice. you go. Woo. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of agree, but like, it's a different game, though. Don't you agree? Like, Wouldn't it be weird if they no. did that? Uh, as Could it is right now, normal? as as it is right now, I think it actually fit really well. If it was in yeah, year, it fit really well. if it was in year one, it would be a big problem because of the double primaries. But like, as yeah. it is right now, make it three v three like the way it was. Like, I think it would fit really well. This, this definitely this fun. forsaken meta we have definitely feels a lot more like Destiny one. I would I would agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, more so the whole year of Destiny two compared to the launch of Destiny two. I mean. But yeah, that's that mechanic though. I would want that forge forge mode. Forge mode. Forge mode would be nice. Forge mode would be nice. Yeah. Just mess you know what was that? Uh, Halo Five had that huge combat thing where it was kind of PVE Warzone. and PvP combined. Warzone, Warzone would be cool. Like if you could turn like one one destination into a war zone every week, where all of a sudden PvP was turned on. That'd be fun. It'd be interesting. Yeah. Like, in patrol, that'd be dope. And like they could patrol. they could make that part of the faction rally where like yeah. you know, like if you were dead orbit, the more you know, the more kills dead orbit racked up during a faction rally on this war zone like uh map, that would be cool. And all but the casuals be, would be dead orbit, so you could kill them real easy. True enough. <laughs> That's true. true enough. That's true. Agreed. <laughs> It would be fun to play PvP out on patrol. Like, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Though you never know how it would be implemented. Yeah, that's, I think it'd be. Fun. That's the biggest thing is how it would be imp- implemented. So, yeah, because you can get some serious trolley type of experiences that then exactly, yeah, you know, like that sounds good. I like it. <laughs> yeah, you would like it. What, you're the <laughs> one being trolled, Briar. Yeah, if you're the one being trolled, Briar, it's not. not well, the there's always the go do something else button. But then we could just go to Mars <laughs> instead of going to Earth, where yeah. where the war is currently happening. It would always be the flashpoint. Oh, so if you want to get the flashpoint done, <laughs> you got to like go through the trolls. Well, what if it was like faction rally? It was once a month, and it was just a specific place for a week once a month. I think that's good. Yeah. I think that would be actually really good. That'd actually be good once a month. Yeah. Yeah. And then everybody gets DDoSed. <laughs> <laughs> the whole Dude, server. That's hilarious, man. <laughs> Straight face, everybody get DDoSed. Uh, uh, Braden DeLorme says, what are some ways you'd improve Gambit? 
I'd like to add some mechanics like strike bosses, but maybe no one would enjoy the health gating. Dude, Gambit is sweaty on PC, dude. I can't even get into a lobby without even. Yeah, but I will sweaty. not win. Yeah, I will not win that lobby on PC. Maybe on console, I have more of a chance, but those guys are really sweaty, man. You don't want to mess with those guys. What are they? Uh, what's that Gambit skill called? Dragon. Oh yeah. Gambit Dragon. gods. Dragon. Yeah, those guys are ruthless. <laughs> you don't want to mess with those guys. <laughs> There's some, some people I've played with know the, like, the spawn so well that they kill people as soon as they come in. The invaders, oh, even they, before they come in. at that spot. Yeah. 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 Like I've had someone start their super before I've even actually oh finished God. going through. And then by the time their super ends, I'm dead because they knew exactly where I was going to be. Wow. And yeah. I was like, well, guess we so that probably needs to be fixed. That's one thing they could do to change it is they more very spawn. What about yeah. a ranked playlist for Gambit? Would that be unusual? What do you think? I honestly think they need to take it in that direction because there's that there's direction, this, yeah. there's a, a portion of Gambit players that are in there for rewards and then a portion of Gambit players that right. are in there for the comp competition. And Correct. It, it's creating some weird things in the community right now. No, and, I agree with you 100% because it's definitely sweaty there too. Like you, you don't get a casual match of Gambit on PC for sure. Mm -hmm. it, I don't ever get a casual Gambit. Match. And there's things in there that you could just do casually to like get stuff or let's say you solo queue and... You have an AFK person. Like bounties. You oh, might yeah, want to run true. bounties, but bounties aren't necessarily... When you're completing bounties, they're not necessarily the things that you should do to win. Exactly. They're just you, things you, you need to do what, to finish a bounty. I needed to get 30 kills with a sidearm well in the air, Briar. Excuse you. I feel like that is very competitive. <laughs> I'm helping. No, no. I, my apologies. My apologies. <laughs> that is super <laughs> Don't let Briar take that away from you. That's super competitive. I need to bank 15 moats three times. <laughs> Also, I do that every game. That's my bounty. If they did two playlists, one was casual and one was like competitive, I would like to see the casual just be a one round and done thing. Yeah, I, I kind That'd of be, agree too. Yeah. That'd be fun. One long round, because hitting three rounds when I'm doing, like I'm still six, six games away from getting my auto rifle. And right. the thought of three round gambit hurts my soul. Six games away? Uh, six games rough. away. Six edge transits away? Tough day. Okay. That it, that does interest me. It does. In fact, <laughs> are you talking about the breakneck, Tuffy? Yeah, I I still need to get that. I'm six game. I've been six games away for I think four weeks, and every time. What else are you six away from? Is there a third six? Um, no. Maybe I don't know. I'm trying to think. <laughs> do, you, do you honestly think that another player this could have a pinnacle reward weapon? Because I know people love pinnacle reward weapons. Absolutely. Uh, I, I think it would need it. Honestly. What, what playlist? What what with playlist though? Like quick play? Like you think they should implement oh. it in those type of playlists? No, I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about Gambit. If there's a comp Gambit playlist, yeah. it needs a pinnacle weapon. You know, you know you'd rather be. PvP I don't know if Gambit could support two playlists though. Why, I don't know if it could either. I know that I would I would really I'm sure a lot of people are not okay with this idea, but I would really like a curated loadout gambit because I just I just remember playing gambit at all of these events where we all had the same weapons available to us and that's when it was the most fun. Mm -hmm. Like it is a fantastic game. That that's one of the weirdest things about going to capture events is you get to you you purely experience the game mode itself. You don't experience really the other meta things that come in, like right. when 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 I played um, Supremacy for the first time, I was like, "This is awesome!" Yeah. We're not all using, you know, Felwinner's right. Lie type stuff, and you're you're right. mapping people. Like when we just had shitty weapons, like this is this is cool, yeah. and then and and then that it released, and yeah. Yeah, people use the best of, best of yeah. weapons. That's and, why and I think I would time, enjoy yeah. fixed loadouts for Gambit. Not the whole time, but maybe like a rotating, I don't know, modifier or something. And one of it is the curated loadout day. And I think Gambit Gambit was really fun when people weren't using the super strong stuff. Yeah, no, I would agree. Gambit was a new experience, actually. It was brand new. It was, it was implemented like a couple months ago, actually. It was, it was pretty popular still now. It's not a. It's not a, actually a bad playlist at all. It's it intrinsically, to... I think, a fun game mode. It's no, just... it's definitely fun. It's definitely fun. Yeah. I enjoy it myself. I don't get a, like a because I got to do my mouse. Like ones, that right? idea though. Yeah. Uh, Braid Delome says, "What are uh, my bad?" Slam Dave TV says, "I got shit on by Pure Chill and Crew just the other day." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good Is question. That a question? <laughs> Did you? I don't know. Is that the other day? 
What was the question? What was the question? That's the question. That's, That's the question right there. Question. <laughs> <laughs> the question was, uh, can you repeat it, Briar? Uh, I got shit on by Pure Chill and crew just the other day. What was the question? Then? I don't know. I feel like an apology would be good. <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> hey, if you did lose, whether it was console or PC, GG's, brother. GG's. That's the best way to respond. I play a lot I of mean, <laughs> Ivietta says, with the recent PvP <laughs> changes, do you think that more people will be drawn to the experience or no? Like, maybe to hop in and be like, oh, I wonder what shooting people with my golden gun and getting bullets like. Oh, that's pretty neat. I'm gonna go now. Hmm. <laughs> wait, the question was, wait, what was the question again, Brian? Can you? Uh, with the recent PvP changes, do you think that more people will be drawn to the P to the experience or no? I think I think a lot of other people will try different subclasses for sure, but I think you know most people are gonna um, uh, obviously. I thought, honestly think most people will obviously switch up things. I don't know if it will make other new players want to you know enjoy the game more just because it's a change of a meta, but it definitely will shift other people from you know playing different subclasses for sure. You know, maybe people will follow through, you know, watching their favorite streamer switch a subclass or their best friend switch a subclass, and they'll follow through with that. I don't know if it'll bring, like, you know, more incentive for new players to want to play just because of them switching up the meta. Yeah. I The the changes coming don't sound like the type of changes that are going to be, like, the tent pole, like, shit, check this out. Like, the new right. new loadouts, you know, you know, primary, special, heavy, that's worth checking PvP out. Like... Hey, we tweaked some go numbers fast update. And, That's something that brings yeah, people back. Like, yeah, right? Like no, we, we tweaked a couple damage numbers and stuff. No, that's not that. That doesn't get you know people. That feels back. like it's for people who are here and like yep. really paying attention. It's not necessarily gonna like you know spread across the universe and bring people back in. Like, oh, yep. I got to check this out. No, I, I yeah. agree with what you guys said. There's nothing else you can say. You're correct, hundred percent. It's not a go fast update, like you said. Yeah. Chris Lennon says, should faction rallies come back similar to the division's dark zones, PvP, VE for a flashpoint planet? That's literally what we're talking about. Right? I Briar. think that's a fantastic idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Did you wow. war zone. <laughs> All right. Or Gambit Plus, you know, where instead of you're on the same mm -hmm. field all the time. You don't need to invade anymore. It's like you're always like shooting enemies, grabbing stuff, and also shooting each other. There you go. I like it. Sounds good. Chris Lennon. Th oh, shit, that's the second time in a row. Reynolds, Reynolds says, if you had to choose what you like Destiny going more towards its fantasy side or sci-fi side. Uh... That was Boy, a that was roughly it. worded question. Boy, that's it. I think it means saying, what do you like better, the fantasy side or the sci fi side? I, I like I'm the fact fantasy. that it's mixed. As, but if we're going to go more fantasy, maybe we can get some more pretty armor. Yeah, people love so. pretty armor. I would have to agree. People love know. that armor. Even if it has bad perks, people love the armor. Maybe we can be a beautiful butterfly once again. <laughs> the, 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 like the main the appeal is. is yeah, the, that's one of the main appeals to Destiny's universe is that it is a mix of both. So, like, really anything feels right. possible at any time. But if you, you want to give me butterfly and have wing a cape. space battle, but we also have swords, like yes, Star Wars. Like, I, I feel like <laughs> I feel like you could have a cutscene of a guardian standing, like, getting out on their ship as they're flying into battle, and they just stand on their ship with a sword drawn out. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Destiny. Destiny. Destiny things. Hmm. Space magic, bro. Uh, that's a hard question because <laughs> the game is already still kind of like both. Like, I don't know what direction it would be better, honestly. Seems like it needs a bit of both. Uh, I guess like if you look at Anthem, Anthem is heavily sci-fi based, yeah. you know, because it's, oh, it's like it's straight PV. Yeah, it's all technology like in the future with some crazy alien planet and all that. So like I but then it's got like gods and monsters and stuff too. Yeah. But your abilities are mostly like sci-fi as opposed to fantasy. Yeah. I don't know. I like that's a tough fantasy one. Fantasy is magic. Yeah. Destiny has space magic. It's both. True. Facts. Are we <laughs> wizards? Yeah. No, I think we're guardians. That's what we're called, right? Guardians. We're, uh, I we're wish guardians. I could look like one of the wizards. 
Oh, I want a wizard hat. Yes. A big too. floppy brim like Gandalf. I'd be nice in the Warlock subclass, honestly. Oh, wizard Fuck hat. Warlocks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Warlocks. You just say you were going to main storm, Briar. I could have sworn Briar said he's going to main storm. Hey, was that Holtzman or was that Briar saying that? <laughs> I, I think Holtz is going to main is Anthem. He said he uh, is really excited about it. Can't wait to play it. Holtz is That's excited right. for Anthem in the division. Up there. Yeah. He, he's ready to go. He's pretty. He is wired. He's ready to pew so hard in those games. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> JD says, do you think that we'll ever get another whisper type secret or shattered throne dungeon experience? And if so, what do you think I mean, those might look like? I think we'll definitely see those. Penumbra is literally that. So is it? That's a whole that's a whole content drop of just secrets. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's a very nostalgic feeling too. Wait, <clears throat> say the last half of the, the question, Briar. Sorry. Uh if so, what do you think those might look like? <laughs> Crap. Did it say secrets like Whisper in the Dungeon? Yeah, uh, Whisper like, in the like, Dungeon. Okay, yeah. Like, like stuff I, that just come Do you think we'll get more stuff like that? I sincerely hope we get more dungeons. I mean, I think dungeons are some of the coolest PvE content that they have put in the game since we first stepped into a raid on Vault of Glass. Like, I seriously want more dungeons, and I'm disappointed that we haven't had a new one yet. I know it takes a lot of time to develop really cool stuff. No, it, it takes a long time. Yeah. It definitely but does. I want it now. You know what I mean? Like, I want it right now. I want now. it now, too. I want more dungeons. Please, God, put more dungeons in the game because they're so cool. They're very good. TMCPK says, this one's for pure. What would you like to see as the competitive pinnacle reward for a fabled slash legend next season? Uh Oh my god, dude! It's just an easy answer. We just need a, either a sniper or a shotgun, man. Like, honestly, I think a sniper would be more preferred for a lot more people. But I would personally like to see a shotgun. Obviously, something that you know, I obviously enjoy shotgunning. That's what I like to. That's my play style. Um, obviously, there is something for the twenty one hundred, and there's something for fifty five hundred. Maybe we can implement both, uh, possibly. But yeah, I think a lot of people would like a sniper and shotgun easily. Compared to you know a you know grenade launcher, or just something that doesn't even feel like it should be in you know the meta. What if? Right? What if they gave you a sidearm? If they <laughs> gave me a sidearm, then I'm gonna grind a sidearm. But I'm gonna be waiting for the next season for another pinnacle award. What if the strikes promise? If it's Dreg's promise, so waiting until next season for a new pinnacle. Honestly, award. I might grind. That means we're... I might grind comp if it's uh, <laughs> if it's Dreg's promise. I'm going to get 10 different That's routers right. and 10 different VPNs so I can keep on swapping them. Routers. There you go. Yeah, just keep keep plugging in and out. Plug, plug, yeah, plug, plug, plug. Yep. exactly. <laughs> you have to have memes in the room. Yeah. Keep plugging in. Be like plugging listening to data and be plug. like, yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, lots of loves are drugs, promise. I do. I miss it a lot. <laughs> Uh, Doughboy says, what's the monthly vault space update? I'm about full all the time and it's annoying. Delete some shit then. No. Exactly what Holt said, okay. man. What is in your vault, bro? What Precious is in the vault treasure. You... I will not spelunk through my treasure <laughs> to delete it. It is my treasure. All right. <laughs> me, Seems me, like me. you need to go play Sea of Thieves, Tefty. Oh, uh, maybe Thieves actually. Oh yeah. Treasure hunting. Yeah. Well, what is in your vault? What what keeps your vault full? Though? Like I'm asking all you guys. Probably what do you guys have in particular? I like to keep one of everything. <laughs> one of everything. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. What, one of what? Yeah. yeah. Everything. 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 <laughs> 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 you know that weapon that you have where you're like, oh, this has, this has air assault and fucking firmly planted? Yeah, but I'm what? sure I'll use oh. it at some point. Yeah, I should give that, fucking delete it. You're not going to use it. What if they buff both of those perks and yeah. then you're like, oh yeah. my yeah, man. That, that you is... get enough of those shit quality perks, it should be easy to get another one of those rolls. <laughs> But not one with air salt and firmly planted. Oh, uh, okay. Um, you okay. Keep that my, bad. My, my bad. Well, if they buff both those perks and come angrily yell at me because I told you to delete your god roll. Look, um, I, I think I, I like, if I gave in to my basest instincts and I just let it go, I would be a hoarder. Like, I honestly believe that. But I like you fight are. in my real life. No, you, no, no, I you are. 
very hard Probably. is I try not, I, you know, I try not to collect a lot of stuff. I try and throw stuff away, try and keep my house clean and not, not filled with like every fucking thing I see on the side of the road. I'm like, oh, I could fix that lawnmower. I, you know, it took me 10 years to get around to it, but all of a sudden you got like 15 fucking lawnmowers, right? But <laughs> Destiny lawn. is my video game. It's my relaxed time. I don't right. feel the need to fight this in urge, right? Exactly. I just want to collect it all like i you know like it's satisfying for me to just like have one of everything and like i like having you know one of each like that's cool you you know what i have a lot of one of things you cannot get in the game anymore i have a lot of year one weapons of all three varieties like i got all three flavors of darkest befores i've got like tons of different snipers even scouts god forbid scout rifles with all three flavors in there because like you can't get them you can't get them anymore and it's fun to break them out. You never know when the yeah, medic you know, change too. You yeah. well, when when you're with a fire team and somebody sees you with this weapon that they've never seen before, and you're like, oh, yeah, I kept this one around from year yeah. one. Yeah, actually, mm-hmm. that's, that's actually pretty I, smart. I, no, that's what D1 was like, too. I will say, though, there is – so, like, I'm with Briar on this. Like, I don't want to have to go and manage my inventory because it's, like, it's an escape from managing other stuff in my life, you know, like mm. my things and all that. Like, once I've done that, I don't want to do that in a game anymore. Uh, but there is something that drives me absolutely crazy that I still think takes forever and I'm not willing to do. I have like at least half a page of, um, of shaders that are stuck in the vault that are like stacked yeah. 50, and they're at like 700. Yeah. You know, just an insane amount. That's going to take me like an afternoon to clear out. And I'm not going to take an afternoon to clear out the shaders. No, I'm not doing it. No. no. Couldn't you just, I just ignore the problem. It's like taxes. I just ignore it and hope it goes. Uh-huh. <laughs> if i pull those out and take them to rahul i also have to deal with like the fact that my shaders are already full so hey yeah I'm so you a, gotta go delete some shaders i gotta hold it yeah. i'm ho- yeah i'm holding Jeez. f forever too much. to clear some space to then go and clear those to bring them over Rahul. then Jeez. i gotta look at rahul's inventory space or page and figure out which one it was i grabbed and mouse over each one and be like which one has 700 and then i click that forever that's really time consuming yeah Mm-hmm. No, I understand where you're coming from. Then, actually, yeah. I thought it was just a sim. I, I don't, I don't collect shaders, so I wouldn't know. I don't know. I, I like. I don't collect them. They just <laughs> add up. <laughs> I play the game. I don't, like, I don't even. I just don't out of the delete them. Master. Dim, and I hit the like. Just move everything in the postmaster into my inventory because I can't be bothered. Yeah, the shader <laughs> situation is just a mess, man. I didn't know that. <laughs> So yeah, I want more vault space. I know the black armory, um, <laughs> the shaders are animated, right? Something like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You know, I want more though. vault space, but I also want I want the current weapons to be in the collection. So if I do delete them, I still have and pull it out of the collection. Right, right. So it's just easy. Simple. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, I agree. That would be a lot easier. Like have just like a, you know, a standard roll. Once you collect this weapon, that standard roll is now unlocked in the in the collection. That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh man, that would that would be a, says, that'd be a fun collection type of thing to go and hunt all possible roles and knock them out. Yeah. Buzzard says, "Here's my question: A man approaches you with a million dollars. He says yes. it's yours. Yes, but only if I'll you do, do one do of it. two things. Okay, the DCB cast must." Yep. Be head to toe hairless for ten years. Okay. <laughs> or hire a hitman like figure to force Pat, Pat and Pope to get their butt tattoos. Can, can I yeah, just you guys on that? Any leftover money is yours. I think right, that's pretty that. easy. That's super <laughs> easy. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. Ten years. We could go. Ten we could go so cheap cool. also on like get like the the two three thousand dollar hitman. You know, there's got to be somebody who's like you know breaking in. Yeah, I can tell you're not. We're we're not gonna pay a lot for that tattoo either. We're going <laughs> discount. <laughs> okay. So you we're guys going, want an update on the tattoo discount thing? Discount tattoo and oh. discount hitman. Sure. Okay. Tattoos <laughs> can be removed. So I say the tattoo one. You can remove. The oh, that's tattoo. true. Million bucks. Yeah, you can be able to get a tattoo. It can be a small tattoo. Hair grows tattoo. back, but still tattoo. Am I muted? Do you want an <laughs> no. update on the tattoo? Please. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm waiting to get a tattoo until after I return to, from Japan because there are many places in Japan that do not allow you to go in there if you have a tattoo. On your ass. Really? Will check really? his butt. Namely, really? the, the, like, the, what's, what are they called? No, onsens. 
The what? Yes. Public bathhouse type Onsen. thing, like in the hot springs. Onsen. You're gonna get naked in public in Japan? Yes. Oh yeah, yes. Dado. Patrick. In Japan, who the fuck do I know there? They're getting, they're getting, they're getting naked together. Japanese people. Yeah. Oh. I don't have to experience this. This checks it I'm out. In the lady section. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, so if you have a tattoo on your ass, you can't get into the the bathhouse. Oh, <laughs> well, the thing with Japan and tattoos is I've that seen a lot of uh, yakuza I've never movies. Heard about this, this does not check. Yeah, out. What, what is this? So <laughs> initially, initially it was the yakuza who had tattoos. So anytime an establishment saw someone with tattoos, they thought that they were part of the mob. So it became to it had that. That thing where it's like, oh, you have a tattoo, you're probably in the mob. So they didn't want to let people in because they didn't want any trouble. And that has stuck around since then. It's getting really? a bit better, but there's still places that are like, no. Hmm. Well, congratulations, Holtzman, on finding an excuse to further delay <laughs> the tattoo. Yep. <laughs> See, we planned this Japan trip actually basically right when we decided to get the tattoo. So, yeah, that worked out. I guess. You planned it last Guardian Con? Yeah, actually. Wow. Dude, we're all drunk at the at the place and Ross was like, hey, you want to go to Japan? I was like, fuck yeah, let's go to Japan. And then we all just decided wow. right there to go to Japan. So there were unforeseen consequences to us planning okay. a trip to Japan. What if you don't go to the bathhouse? Dude, I'm going to Japan. I'm going to go to one of the bathhouses. Do you have to go to a bathhouse? How are you going to pass up a, yeah, you a chance to, to get naked? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> publicly Dude, naked, I, you got to take it up, man. Dude, publicly <laughs> naked, Japanese bathhouse. I can only do one of those things in America, and that's probably going to get me arrested. You can't yeah, get, get arrested. Yeah. Huh. I feel like there's got to be a place in uh, Seattle you can get. Yeah, naked. seriously. <laughs> it's like a publicly naked kind of town. It's got to be a bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a. It's not a local source natural hot spring though oh that's i see what those are ah, natural hot spring. this is uh so you it. won't you won't get naked unless it's organic <laughs> go to like you, <laughs> go to, organic you, public nudity go to yellowstone man <laughs> just jump into one of those i'm not huh? gonna jump i'm not gonna <laughs> jump in the fuck dude, the water <laughs> there's too hot just the let it go hot. downstream a bit <laughs> Cool off. I think you could definitely get away with being naked at Yellowstone right now. There's not even any park rangers. That's true. <laughs> you can do whatever the I fuck you want. That, that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I highly recommend it. <laughs> I think it's a, it's an endorsed activity by DCP. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, that doesn't leave uh, Pope off the hook, off the butt. <laughs> Oh, Discord is... No, that doesn't pop off the hook. Uh, Discord's having some troubles tonight. <laughs> Discord might yeah, be dying. Was me. All right. The mill says, you're on a deserted island. No animals or fish. Food is low. And help is 40 days away. We're eating briar. <laughs> briar is your only way of getting on the rescue craft. Who do you eat and when what order? I'm going to go Holtzman, Watts, Tefty, <laughs> Justice Briar. Beaver says, <laughs> "Briar." So this isn't a question. Okay. <laughs> we eat Briar. We eat Briar. That wasn't the question. We didn't even listen to the question. We don't have to kill Briar in order to eat Briar. Yeah, we can oh just my God. cut off. Briar. You stick fucker. Oh <laughs> just a little amputation. It's all good. We can keep him alive so we can get on the boat. <laughs> we'll cauterize the wound. Nibble. Don't you worry. <laughs> what about we need... holds? Though? No one's gonna eat holds. No, because I'm the one that knows how to properly use bones and sinew to to make a to, to make a sail, so we can. I don't have, believe that for an instant. Excuse There's no me. Way. I have the leatherworking, basketry, um, and textiles, merit badges from Boy Scouts. Okay, I know how to Would properly lock skin you, off the island, preserve hope. your hide, <laughs> and then use it as a sail and construct <laughs> construct the mast with your femur bone, and then a bunch of other shit. Yeah, we got material, you know, Briar. You could be our sailboat. It just requires just, us okay, to lose. To be fair, Briar is the tallest one, so he has yeah. uh, he has the longest leg. So yeah. if we just take a leg off, we'll we be okay. Not, I walk, yeah. I <laughs> we can just we'll take out your spine. Slowly but surely. Exactly. I agree with Watts. This He's pretty tall. This is great. You know, I didn't realize how much of a correlation Holtz has with Dwight Schrute, but there's a lot. Is it, there's a surprising amount there is. of a Dwight Schrute. <laughs> you can bring it up. Yeah. It's incredible, actually. 
Who's the last shoot? The Office. <laughs> Not seen the office. <laughs> All right, that's yeah, fair. Yeah, I actually don't that's fair. That, No, no, that's fair. So let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> Justice Beaver twenty three says. So this isn't a question, but I'd like to go on record and apologize for asking the question <laughs> about making your ultimate sandwich two weeks ago and exposing to the world, exposing to the world to the reality that someone eats a peanut butter banana and mayo sandwich. Like Ew. seriously, <laughs> what the fuck is that, Goose? What is that? <laughs> Ew. I accept your apology, Justice Beaver. Someone on Twitter said it was popular. You South. put mayonnaise on your sandwich, bro? I don't. <laughs> Who puts That's mayonnaise on their sandwich? strong accusations. With, with banana How and... How dare you? Peanut butter. <laughs> what is that? Banana and mayo. And you're and hating mayo. on Mario telling me <laughs> I like banana mayo sandwiches. <laughs> How dare you? I, I don't know about the mayo, Briar. We're going to have to talk about the mayo. I don't know about that one. Wayne says, what would your most chill day look like? Okay, so picture your most chill day. Where would you be? What would you be doing? And who are you doing it with? Most chill day. That's a good question. That's a good yeah. question. Honestly, a chill day for me would honestly like, like like a good wet like you know being you know like the weather's nice and you're going to like a football game or like an NBA game and just chilling with some good friends and just watching the game. Yeah, that does sound good. Yeah, like doing a little uh, tailgating, really... then watching a football game. Uh, I like that. Day Sounds is good. Laying in bed with my girlfriend, watching anime and drinking. See, you know what? Tea. I haven't gotten into anime yet, and I feel like a lot of people like anime. And I, the only anime I've ever gotten into was. De- I think it was Death Note and Attack on Titan. They were really good shows. Well, they were actually really good. I really, good. Liked, I really liked Attack on Titan. <laughs> I'm, Attack, I'm Attack gonna... on Titan would have made a really good hour and a half movie. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. Real quick, I, I'm going to take Ronaldo's response in chat. Jeff, the fan bathhouse for a chill day. <laughs> <laughs> Is it chill if you unless you're really self confident, self conscious about your body? <laughs> then then it's not so. Oh bad. man! Oh no, man! <laughs> oh that is pretty. The my problem is like I can't just like sit someplace. That's not chill to me. It's it creates anxiety. Like I I need to be like moving and doing really? something. Really? So like for me the chill. chill Day would be like going to the current water skiing and like fishing and drinking on the be beach people, and stuff like that. Would you still be, be around fun. people? What? Wouldn't you still be around people though, Byer? Yeah, I like being around people. I like doing. <laughs> st- I don't like <laughs> not um, doing stuff. It's not oh, stuff. okay, that's what. Call- okay, I understand. You're talking about inside. Um, you know, I'm gonna say <laughs> Washington summer. Go to a, a nice park. Yeah, it's nice. Like a nice, nice park. Have some special tea. tea. Yeah, that's, that's good. Special. And uh, like just Earl Grey. And enjoy the weather. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Some Yogi Green Tea. Yeah. Yep. Lipton. Lipton. Yep. No, Lipton. <laughs> you know the good stuff. <laughs> Always the good, good stuff. The good, good special. So wait, Watts, you'd be entertained just sitting there, just looking at the sun and just chilling. You don't, you don't look directly at the sun. You just well, obviously <laughs> you can look directly at the sun. But what are you gonna like? Just chill there? Like, no yeah, yeah, just like yeah. lay, just like lay down. So you know, you're outside. The, the, Lip, the Lipton tea will make you enjoy just laying there mm-hmm. and looking at the sun. Mm-hmm. What about any pets or anything? Yo, this is brisk. Like, no pets. <laughs> I guess I could bring my cats. I suppose. <laughs> uh. Blazik says, if your five-year-old self suddenly, okay, if your five-year-old self suddenly found themselves inhabiting your current body, what would your five-year-old self do first? So, like, your your five-year-old self all of a sudden just gets, like, transported, and you're like, oh, I'm in my... Drive a car really fast. Uh... Because I would be legally allowed to drive a car. And when I was five, I feel like the stuff I wanted to do was like the grown up stuff that I couldn't do yet. Yeah. I mean, technically, I'm not supposed to be going that fast, but I can get in the car illegally. So. I feel like I wanted to eat like cookies and not get yelled at. <laughs> when I was five. So you just get in the car, go to the store, Recklessly spend and uh, get, buy all the cookies, Briar. I'm going to buy all the G.I. Joe figures. There you Fuck. go. 
Buddy's <laughs> allowance. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I'd, I'd do the same thing. I would go to think Toys R Us is open anymore, but I would go to Toys R Us and just buy a bunch of toys or even right. games too. Yeah, yeah re- recklessly money. spend money. Exactly. So we're talking about. But I had a Toys R Us. I'm driving. We're talking about my five year old self in the past suddenly gets teleported to myself right now in this day and time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would right. literally play with all of my toys, my electronics. <laughs> I'd play yeah. my video games that I have right now and be blown away. <laughs> but yeah, what no, toys did you buy with right? those <laughs> Like what? What toys in particular did you did you purchase? I would like play with all my. I'd, I would play with all my <laughs> my musical equipment toys. My yeah. Dude, Destiny Two would, would be pretty fucking that? revolutionary. My five year old self is playing ass games. <laughs> my mind would be straight up blown. Be right? like, I what's maybe the steam what, thing? Might want to shampoo your beard, Tefty. Your five year old self does not have a beard. <laughs> That's true. Actually, I probably wouldn't realize I have a beard until I finally use the bathroom. Because like, I'd, I'd be definitely playing... be checking out the whole hair situation, like all. Of... <laughs> <laughs> What the? Is hell there? Well, Jesus. Well. <laughs> do you guys want to probably in the podcast because Discord? Uh, Discord struggling. Like, I, I believe it's Discord. I don't know. No, it's Discord. It's Discord's Discord. struggling tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna end it. Do we got one more? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Gary Adex says Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester. What? So that was Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone. Ah, uh... oh, that's tough. It's like who you like, who you like more, or just like in in general. Are we taking them on who a would, picnic? Are we going on a is this, is this on your chill Are day? Fighting. Oh, is this our chill day? <laughs> who do you prefer to spend a chill day with? I'm gonna go with Arnold. Go with Arnold. I feel like Sylvester would be really chill to hang out with. Like we'd probably I'm go. we'd get food, you I'm know. Go. We'd get we go drink at bars, multiple bars, obviously. I, I, feel, I, like, feel, like, I feel like I feel like Schwarzenegger's gonna be more fun to get drunk with. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Think so? yeah. yeah, I feel like Arnold is more of a party type person, yeah. Honestly. Really? I would go with Arnold, honestly. <laughs> Sylvester's cool, though. He's a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. Stallone's pretty badass. He was in Cobra. I feel like Stallone. And Rocky. Probably parties pretty hard. You know, I don't know too much about Stallone. So that, that's true. I don't know about Stallone. He owned Planet, De- Planet Hollywood for a while. Planet Destiny? He owned Planet Destiny? That's news. Wow. Even more of a reason. <laughs> oh. God. Find out how that happened. Him and Bruce Willis got down, right? Was Arnold Schwarzenegger part of that? No, I don't think so. Uh, I'm not 100 percent though. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I'll go Arnold too. Arnold's the boy. No, I'm going with Mr. Sylvester. <laughs> Sly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, all let's right. wrap this thing up. All right, thank you, thank you all for tuning in to the 120th episode. Uh, uh, sorry, Discord has been kind of shitty, but if, if you're listening to the edited one, the good audio, then hopefully it didn't sound weird. Yeah. Uh, thank you all. You didn't really need to in. say that, then, did you? I probably didn't. I probably didn't. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm trying to plug. I'm trying to plug the MP3. You know, our being in my own personal way, Briar. Dwight uh, if there was a problem with the podcast, please just tweet at Pope Bear repeatedly. Exactly. That's right. That's at nice. Pope Bear. No spaces. <laughs> just Pope Bear. <laughs> yeah. uh, you want to find more of me? I'm at Holtzman underscore YT on Twitter, where you can find me playing Magic the Gathering and not Anthem. Not Anthem. Oh what? You're not even going to try it? I'm not even going to. The free demo? You're not gonna hop in and we'll see. Are you just we'll it's just not your thing? I don't even think I'm gonna try it either. I don't know. Yeah, it's just it's not smart for my interest. No, I just like Destiny too much to be honest. Sure, sure. It's There's really no awesome. PvP. That's definitely yeah. a downside for a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. I'm Briar Rabbit. You can find me uh, playing uh, NBA Jam Tournament Edition on the Sega Genesis and streaming tomorrow. I'll be streaming Anthem, uh, the beta for Anthem. Uh, at launch. Nice. I am Tefty Teft. You can talk to me at Teft on Twitter. Catch my streams, twitch.tv forward slash Tefty Teft. I've been doing a lot of variety lately. 
Uh, we finished up uh, the Metro series. We played Darksiders 3 this month. We started Resident Evil 1 Remaster. We're actually going to be playing Resident Evil 2 Remaster as well in Anthem Demo. I'm very excited about all the stuff. Um, and we'll get the last word, too, at some point. You know, it's going to be good. It's going to be good stuff. There's so much going on. Yep. Uh, I am Miss 5000 Watts. You can find me on Twitch. Just look for Miss 5000 Watts. And I'm going to be playing the Anthem demo at launch tomorrow. And then we're going to go into Resident Evil. Nice. So I'm very excited. Very, very excited. Pure chill. Uh, uh, pure chill. You? Thanks for having me on the podcast. I enjoyed uh, my experience here. You can find me uh twitch.tv slash pure chill. Um, I'm going to be transitioning to more into PC. Uh, trying to learn mouse and keyboard. I will be streaming comp uh, consistently daily every day. Thanks for having me on the show. Appreciate it. Thanks Thank for being on. Thanks for coming on. on. Yeah, all sorry. Right. Discord kind of like went away. Nah, all it's all good, man. All good. Thank, thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Going to roll credits Peace. and we'll be back for some sub readouts. And you can...